<laughs> I don't know why it does that, man. What's going on, guys? Welcome into the stream. What's up, Jay? Get everything evil that got Nessa, man, tonight. Hope everyone's having a good night, man. Two more years, says Jay. Hold up. Wait. I didn't make my... Okay. You had me confused there for a second, dude. I thought <laughs> I thought I made my freaking description that by accident. Two more sleeps, Jay. Two more sleeps. Not two more years. Let's hope it's not two more years. Anyway, what's going on, dude? Evil Dead God, Nessa, what's going on, guys? Hey, brother, how you doing? Doing good, man. How you doing tonight, brother? Good. Very good tonight. <laughs> good, man. Good. I was, um, Hello. I was trying to keep in line with your stream there, Evil Dead Guy. I saw you had your stream started up, and I saw like a two minute, little, like two minutes on there. So I was like, all right, I'll try to keep it synced up. You know what? You did perfect. I just got done introducing, uh, explaining why the changes occurred and everything else. So, perfect time. Brother. Good shit, man. Good shit. Uh, you guys want to do some quick match? You do whatever you want to. I'll play either side tonight. I do not mind going back and forth. Sounds quick good, matches. brother. Yep. Sounds good to me. I'm glad. You excited for Thursday? Oh, pump, dude. Pump, man. Two more sleeps, dude. Two more sleeps, and Virginia will be mine. Just <laughs> I just can't, can't wait I to hear her screams, thing. dude. Yeah. You know? Can't wait. I'm looking forward to killing her. Yeah, I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that are looking forward to that. See, I kind of feel bad for her out of all of them. She's the one that really needs to make it out. <laughs> yeah, I know. She's just, she's just a mom looking for a kid. I know, man. She would be targeted probably the first couple days. She will be. Jay says, no, that was a joke. I didn't know if you would fall for that. <laughs> I was going to say, it best be a joke. See how she works. Yeah, hell yeah, man. Yeah, I can't wait to try her out. Nobody will replace my Connie. No, not at all. You know, the thing is, is even with Virginia, you're still going to see a Connie in every single lineup, guys. I'm going to see Connie. Yep. That's going to be hard. It's going to be hard to get her out of that, out of that lineup, dude. Mm-hmm. This ain't happening. All the others are kind of interchangeable, but you got to have the Connie in there. Well, we kind of need a, another person in there. Another young, hot chick would be fine, too. But yeah. Anybody. I thought Danny would have done it, but we need somebody else who has, who can do the locks, but it's a little different than Connie, yep. but it's just as effective. Yeah, I feel like I feel like every team needs at least an Anna or a Leland. Two, both of them's good, but I feel like it need at least one. Exactly. <clears throat> All right. Speaking of that, wait, something's wrong here. <laughs> <laughs> Jay, the TCM update on your birthday. Your birthday's Thursday, dude. Holy shit! Let's go, man. Happy early birthday to you. Someone, I think someone else said their birthday was Thursday also, uh, recently. Well, damn, it's a good birthday present for you. Yeah, I would say so. Yeah, hell yeah, man. So, on the patch notes today, it said that the update was going to arrive at 8 a.m. Eastern. Uh, so, what I'm here's the thing. We'll probably get the patch. Like, yes. all the notes will like be in the game, but... I still, I, I she, Virginia in the, yeah, yeah we <laughs> we're not going to be able to buy her until yep. later. That's because of Sony. Yep. That's a Sony thing. It'll probably be like 11 or one Eastern 10 or 12 year time. I would imagine. I'm going to fuck with you. Oh, darn. I was going to fuck with that Johnny. Darn. I was going to say, don't don't hurt me, Johnny. <laughs> God damn, they all bailed, dude. Holy shit. They all bailed. Yeah, that's cool, Jeff. Yeah, dude, I hope uh, I hope I didn't take away from your plans to play Visage tonight, man. I just, like, I totally forgot, dude. I just hopped on. I was no. like, you know what? I'm going to see if people that guy's playing tonight. <laughs> It's okay. It draws up suspense for those who are enjoying it. Yeah. Um, I I also think I'm lost in it, and I want to like get past that spot. So I'm gonna have to probably kind of look ahead to mm -hmm. see what I might need to be doing, um, because uh, like my friend Jason said, uh, it, it he enjoyed the stream. He said he loves watching this kind of stuff. 
that that is sort of his thing when it comes to watching video gameplay on YouTube. Mm -hmm. And he says it was more or less me uh, running around for four hours. Yeah, well, I mean, <laughs> you know, it, I guess it's kind of designed like that. You know what I mean? It's supposed yeah. to be, dude. Like I, I, like you made it. You made it great. You made it awesome. But me, like, I can't. I can't stream those games just because I'm always. Yeah panicking like oh, what if we're sitting panicking. here for hours and i can't you know that's why i don't stream god of war or anything because it takes me yeah. forever to do the puzzles and shit yeah, the puzzles yep um you know i am guilty of this though dude sometimes when i do do a single player game if i get stuck on something i'll i'll do it off stream and then i'll redo it on stream that the mess you know what i mean <laughs> that yeah, part of it well i have i have thought about that too i'm like maybe there there comes a time where that might you know if i could find some of them quick guides you know online and keep them up in the background sometimes for when you get lost but then you know you're looking at it and it i don't know it, yeah. it creates a whole whole new concept of, of doing that right right and uh, it's difficult uh, resident evil worries me too because i love playing resident evil but i have played through them before or enough and sometimes when you're playing a really popular one like that chances are that someone in your audience is going to say oh yeah, don't you remember? You have to do that puzzle this way. Yep. And if you look there, you know, so I always... I yes, always you know, there's going to be people in there, dude. Yep. That's and why... Welcome. Yeah, Yeah, well, yeah, I mean, it, it definitely helps out. Backseat, like, a lot of people take backseat gaming, you know, the wrong way. Backseat gaming, yes. Like, a lot of people think people are just being dicks by telling you what to do and where to go and stuff. But it's like, right. if you're okay with that, it's like, it's no problem. Like, if I'm in a game and I don't know what the hell I'm doing, yeah, please tell me what to do because I don't want to be sitting exactly. here for two hours doing the same thing. You know what I mean? Like, I want to exactly. progress too. Um, Jay says, there's no way you fell for that. Thursday is not my birthday. Jay, you jackass, man. <laughs> he'd, be, <laughs> he'd be coming here with all these jokes that I... <laughs> Uh, well, damn! I was gonna buy you the DLC, Jay. I guess not. I guess I won't now. Oh, <laughs> hey, what's up, Mike? Oh. <laughs> oh shit! How you doing tonight, Mikey? Um, but yeah, there was there was actually a few games. I'm trying to think of which ones I wanted to play on stream, like single, like older single player games, really sure. popular, like Resident Evil. And I'm like, I, I want to, but at the same time, I know I'm gonna have a bunch of people who are just like. God, this dude don't know what the fuck he's doing. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, I even wanted to do the original, you know, Resident Evil, but it's been so damn long since I played it, and I'm like, oh, oh my shit. gosh, if I forget, I'm, I'm going to forget everything, yeah. especially with the fixed camera and all that stuff. I found me a nice little, um, there's a nice little stream overlay, too, for retro gaming and stuff, and I thought oh, yeah. about doing some of the older stuff on that and uh, making that up. And every now and again stream. Yeah. Um, I'll tell you this much. I'll tell you one thing that's going to happen on my channel. Original Doom with the Brutal Doom mod. Oh, 100%. Have you seen Brutal Doom? I have not seen Brutal Doom, but it sounds yeah. brutal. <laughs> so, yeah, it shows it shows the Doom guy picking up the demons and smashing them to pieces. Yeah. The chainsaw, the chainsaw swings both ways. You can swing it to the side and everything and chop them right in half and everything. Yeah. Oh, damn. They completely redid the game as if it was... Still those graphics, but made today. That's so badass, dude. That is so freaking cool. It is. It is really cool. It's hilarious, too. I'm you with you. You can jump on top of the demon and just start beating the shit out of his face, and he's screaming, and there's this massive blood everywhere. Oh, it's good old <laughs> doom for it's, you, man. It's everywhere. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's what I want. I, I want to do that, too. At least one night a week, I want to have a retro gaming night. Because, dude, I got so many retro games. And, man, with the PC, you get, like, with the emulators and stuff. I'm going to have to give you that exactly. website for the emulator, too. You want to go. Um, oh, oh, yes, that's right. I forgot the emulator. Dude, you can get... I can do that now. You can get regeneration. I mean, you can get uh, Fistful of Boomstick, everything. Like, you can play it on your PC. Um, okay. I, I have yeah. them. I have the games on my emulator. Uh, um, I've forgotten about that. Yes, please hook me up. I've yep. got to do those Evil Dead games. And you can hook your PlayStation controller to it and play them just like you would be playing on a PS2. I mean, it's oh it's God. badass. What's up, Raul? How you doing tonight, brother? Uh, Mike says, just open, I've forgotten about that. You just opened up a whole new world. Yeah, I'll give it. It's, it's, re it's relatively easy, too. So you download the emulator. And then you have to download these files, game files, which I believe are .rar's or something like that. Um, okay, yeah, yeah. 
if you've seen like if you've seen on my channel where I did some Predator Concrete Jungle and different things like that, that was all from my PC emulator, dude. Like PS2 games, just from the PC. I see. Okay. Yeah, so it's definitely uh, definitely worth. I'm telling you, it's worth it, especially like in old school games. Uh, Mike says, Moose, what about Mad Max game? Oh, yeah, that's not a bad idea, too, oh, Mike. Oh, I love Mad. We were just talking about that the other night. Now, yeah. here's another one that I'm going to do. I don't know. I might do the first one because I don't remember it as much, but I'm definitely doing uh, Evil Within 2. Oh, yeah. I played the that's first like, one. I didn't play the second one. Oh, the second one's even better. Yeah, especially the part where the guy with the chainsaw, by the way, he has a David Bradley. Oh, dude, and that's fucking amazing. He chases you down, and there is one scene in it in which you turn the tides. That is fucking yeah. awesome, dude. Mm -hmm. It is beautiful. Well done. Yeah. Okay, Leatherface is on me at Man Cave. Mm hmm. Yeah, he is definitely around here. Okay, I'm going to try to open up sewers. What's up, Larry? Hello, how are the games going? going uh, we just started, actually, brother. It's our first game, dude. So, so far, so good. <laughs> I can say that. We're just getting geared up for the 28th, man. Geared up for that mill map. Can't wait to try it out. Check it out. Uh, I'm getting sewers open right now. Just popped it. Okay. I got garden unlocked. Nice. Okay. I just now found the toolbox. I'm going to head up toward Battery, I think. I'm going up uh, Cold Room, Johnny Shack. Okay. I'm over by the pump room and his lair. Okay. I don't know if this is going to be a basement, Johnny, or not, but I'm not waiting to find out. No. Yeah, you can never really... De you just assume they are. Yep. No, I think he's staying upstairs, dude. I think I hear That's him weird. stomping I hear around. I killing somebody, but... Oh, shit. Oh, Jesus, he's right there. Oh, is he in the basement? Yes, he's right here with me. Okay, it must be Hitchhiker I'm hearing then. And I'm going to take this little escape path that I didn't see before. That I didn't know was there. God, he is right on me. Goddamn piece of shit. Yeah, forget it. Can't get away from him. Of course. Oh, dude, That's dude, he Johnny. fucking see me. Trying to find the pressure tank right now. Oh, I haven't seen. See, that's the outfit I got, I think that's on my Danny. I got house gate unlocked. Cut. Uh, are you up the road, Nessa? No. Okay, I just saw Leatherface no. heading up the road. That's what I was wondering. Yeah, he's like right by her too. I'm gonna try to get, I'm gonna try to tamper the pressure tank here in a second. Which he was kind of stupid because he kind of looked at that gate, so that was weird. But he didn't come in, so. Yeah, that was weird. That was. Very God weird. damn it, dude! Of course I would step right out in front of him when he was coming back at the absolute worst time. Uh, I'm gonna reset the well and try it again. <clears throat> hey, what's up, Ash? It says fast hands nerf when? Yeah, I don't know, dude. I, I don't think it's gonna get. I don't think it's gonna be nerfed, to be honest. Oh shit! Oh, I had the well. Okay. Okay, 
Grandpa's gonna be level five here soon. Shit. I'm gonna try to get that tampered before he gets to level five. I think Hitchhiker might uh, might be a blood Hitchhiker. I don't know. Someone's feeding him a lot of blood fast though. <laughs> Me and Nessa were playing earlier, and boy, these Johnnies and Hitchhikers were tearing us up. Oh, yeah? Oh, my God. It was brutal. Fuck. Yeah, there's no way we're going to have time to get this, sadly. Yeah. Of course, he would hit five at that perfect fucking time. Yep, that is right. That's the way it works. And Damn. I know where the fuse box is. It's on the porch, and I've got the fuse. That'll be all you, Nessa, I think. <clears throat> uh, I don't know if I can get Grandpa. Well, I got the I got the valve on the tank, but I wasn't able to tamper it. <laughs> 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 When we hear Nessa do that, oh. we know it's not good. <laughs> and she's dying. Get up, Danny. Stop crouching. I'm going to try to heal and then try to go stab Grandpa, I guess. God, I'm glitching. <laughs> of course. Well, he's got me. Yeah, I'm not far behind you, I don't think. They were leveling too quick. Yep. GG. Uh, Ash says, a fast hand's not being nerfed while it's basically Connie's power. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, dude. It is. Yeah, it basically is. Fast hands is insanely good. It's super fast. I don't know. I haven't really heard too many people talking about nerfing it, though, dude. Mike says, Moose, do you prefer psychological scary games or scary games where enemy is hunting you? I like them both, Mike. Like. Yeah, they both are good. Yeah. I like the horror psycho, you know, psychological stuff with actual demons and ghosts and all that shit. And I like just like slasher horror games, you know, to where it's just physical, you know, humans and shit, you know, running after you and stuff. Yeah, I, I like I like all that stuff. I love the creature games, you know, when yep. you're being, you got to fight off the monster, uh, but yet it's still kind of a psychological horror game, like Until Dawn or mm -hmm. Atari, although those are a, a different type of game because of their, the uh, story-based games. What do they call them games? They call them... Uh, um, oh, shit. I know what you're talking about. I, I just, I've been drawing a blank. It's like, um, oh my gosh. Quick time. Yeah, quick, quick time. Yeah. Quick, quick time actions, yeah. Yeah. Pretty much just make your own story as you go and yep. make different decisions. Your actions determine determine the story. You make a bad decision, you lose a character, but the game goes on. Yep. Yeah, I don't know, uh, Ash. I mean, ever since they nerfed Danny's, you know, his tamper ability and stuff, I don't know if... The, I don't think they have any plans to do as fast hands. You never know, though. They might. <clears throat> Ash says, I have returned to Evil Dead the game after a long break. I quit ever since they announced they stopped making con content for the game, and the lobbies were surprisingly good. Yeah, that's what I've been hearing, man. Evil Dead guy was playing last night, yep. and it looked like I your, looked like your lobbies night. were good first time in quite some time and we had a fantastic night mm -hmm. the lobby times were not long the demons were not overly sweaty um we had just an absolute great time yeah i think it's like i think it's what you got to do man let's just take a little time off of the game and then come back and yep. you know play a little bit i think that's how it makes it more fun it seems in doom guy is correct it has a ton of new players on there yeah that's awesome that's good and shit. returning players yep and the double XP is permanent. 
Well, you know, I think I think what a lot what's attracting a lot of new players too is they know the game is now a complete game, like it's a finished complete game, and it's what they're finished. getting is they're getting the yep. whole thing whenever they buy it. You know what That's I mean? Right. There's no content coming out. Nothing's being changed. Yep. Um, exactly right. What you get is what you get. It is what it is. Yep. So if you get good with ball, play ball. If you get good playing Scotty or Leader Ash, that's yep. what you do. Yep. And it's, I mean, it's the price is good too. Like, shit, it's only 30 bucks right now on PlayStation. $30, yep. And, uh, you know, they keep selling the bundles for them DLCs and shit. I mean, it's you can get everything pretty decently cheap. Yes. Ash said his tamper is still good as hell. Yeah, it's, oh, it's definitely still good. Oh, for it's 100%. You know, it's pretty much the same, Ash, as long as you get enough knowledge. Uh, Mike says, I prefer the emotional scary games that try to scare you. I don't like when the enemy hunts you. That's fair. That's fair, Mike. Yeah, everybody, you know, it's different. Some people it, don't Some people don't like that panic. Yes. It can bring you to a certain amount of realistic fear. Yeah, and exactly. It's exactly what it is. It's made to do, and there are people who just, you know, no, no, no. I, I don't want to go through that stress. There's people who feel like that about playing the victim in this game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. It's a completely yeah. different story. It's a completely different adrenaline rush. Nessa, where did you go up at? Uh, looks like side garden, maybe, huh? Yeah, side garden. But Johnny's just standing here, so got to be careful. Okay. Mm. I don't know why. I'll have to try to find a lock. Looks like he's pissing on the tree. <laughs> Maybe he is. Maybe he's diddling himself. Are you going up right here, Evil Dead I I am going to at least unlock it. If you want to come up, we can come up. You want to try to instant pop that back door? I most certainly will. Let's see if I get two tools with me. Not that it will matter because I've got two. Oh, he DC'd. That's why. Oh. <laughs> I am okay with that. Okay, let's get to that lock. That looks like exterior, huh? Exterior alarms are on. They're going to be coming, so I'll, I'll stand in front. Yep. Yep, you go right ahead. I'm right behind you. Okay. Okay, now if you want to hit that back gate also. Yep. Cook's coming, but I got him. I'm working on the fuse box. Okay. Sissy's coming too, though. Here, I'll check her. You just let me know when I need to split. As soon as, you, as, soon as, as soon as Sissy starts hitting you, you'll have to hit the well. I, you know, this, there's something up with, I don't know if it's my controller, but often when I get to those wells mm -hmm. and I hit that square button, it, she won't go in. Yeah, it's, All right. and it's weird. Oh, shit. It's weird. It's like uh, I hope that a rubber band you a little bit too. We're the, right next to it, Moose. The den door's Sorry not for... the den door's not opened. Uh, the layer door is though. I'll, I'm gonna wait Did for you. Did you see that there. basement door open, Moose? Yep. Yeah, I saw it. Okay. <laughs> yep. I'm I'm right okay. here. I'm just waiting in case she needs help. Oh, you're waiting. Okay, I got you. Sissy was hitting me. I'm well in and side garden, so I gotta run over there. Okay. Oh, someone's got Jen. <laughs> oh, shut the fucking door. Okay, it's it's closed. Oh, it off. That's, that's all right. Uh, which room was it at upstairs, Nessa? I'll try I'll try to go hit it oh, again. Oh, right above Den. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha. I'm on my way. Here, let me. Up. Oh, she poisoned that. Okay. Are you Anna, Nessa? Yeah, I'm on her. Okay. I'm going up right now to go try to hit it again. Um, Sonny is out, is out front. Jen's off. He's standing behind the thing, <laughs> waiting for people. She's coming for. She's down in the basement. Oh. I just hit it. Oh my God. Hell yeah, guys. Hell yeah. Fuck, 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 Oh, no. shit. Did she get you? She's dead. Oh, no. Well, uh, it is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is. 
I'm trying to get there. Hey, at least I got it done. Tony's gone now. Yay. Darn, we almost all got out of that one. Fucking sissy came down. I didn't even know she came down to the basement. <clears throat> was that he go out the road? Yeah, he did, huh? Yep. <laughs> he said, fuck this, man. I'm out. <laughs> I think he was waiting to see if maybe somebody was going to come out. Nah, nobody came out. <laughs> he was like, forget it. I'm just getting the hell out of here. Yeah, I know. That sucked, didn't it, Prizzard? Poor Nessa didn't get out. <clears throat> Ash says, I have a, spot, a soft spot for Evil Dead the game. It was my first ever platinum trophy. No shit, dude. Nice, man. Hmm. There's a lot nice. of uh, a lot of newbies. Yeah, yeah. That's that's what uh, Evil Dead guy was just saying. Did you know that I was playing... You watched some of the video. Did you see that I was playing with Spec Ops? Yeah, I did. And I also know uh, Ducky, too. I saw you were playing with Ducky last night, too. Yes, Ducky. Yes. Yeah, it was pretty cool. I used to play with both uh, of them back in the day. Spec Ops was pretty cool. He even said... Um, he said that he was actually rather surprised by me. He said, I looked at your overall level, and he goes, it's nothing grand. And he goes, but yet, he goes, you play like you've mastered this game. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And man. I was like, really? I was like, yeah. and, okay, well, thank you. That's very nice of you to say. He said, I was totally just taken back by it. And I was like, it's. That's cool. Yeah, that's coming from uh, that's coming from someone who literally poured their entire existence into that game, dude. Spec Ops used uh -huh. to stream that game like over twelve hours every single day. Oh my god! Like it's all he did. <laughs> he's probably he's probably got to be like level two thousand by now. He said something <clears throat> like that. Yes. Um. Ash says, as someone who plays both sides on Evil Dead, I will say it's mostly fair on both sides. Although playing Demon against four-man SWFs is painful. Yeah, it's hard to play Demon against a four-man team on that game. Ash, gotta go for book, dude. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't play Demon, but I understand. I get it. He says, very strange of Saber to abandon Evil Dead, even more so now seeing a surge in players. So I'm saying, dude, but yet they keep, uh, you know, they keep uh, putting content into their little uh, snow racing game or whatever. <laughs> they are putting their uh, money and their content into the wrong thing, and I, they know it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I, I just wish it would go to somebody else's hands, you know, but you know what? If they're not making any more new content for it, fine. This is <coughs> Gun Interactive. Gun Interactive, yeah. The idea of Gun getting a hold of Evil Dead license, I'd, I'd be okay with that. Yeah. I mean, they've got Texas Chainsaw, they've got the big, they had quite a good team. Um, but, um, why not? Why not Evil Dead? The only thing that sucks about making games with Evil Dead is all the different freaking license owners for the franchise, you know what I mean? That's the problem with it, is because they're all, all four of them, if you consider Ash versus Evil Dead the fourth. Mm -hmm. um, and then you've got the two spin-off. They get the spin-off and then the remake. They're all by somebody different. Every single one of them. Yeah, and of course Lionsgate, you know, they're kind of like, they seem to have more say than anybody else, which is weird. Yeah, which is weird. And they're like the one, they're the worst one you would want to have the, the most say in it. Yep. Universal's very picky too. Yep, oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Uh, Frizzard, I may have seen the Wishmaster movies a long time ago, but I don't remember them too well offhand. Um, I've at least seen one of them in that show. Whoops, I did not mean to do that. Why am I not rocking this thing? Alright, Padawalks are on. Time to cook. I don't know if you guys see anybody up there. I'm just dicking around with this Leland down here. It's being annoying as okay. fuck. So far, it's super quiet. Okay. I'm gonna collect some blood. I hear Nancy bitching at me. <laughs> Just checking to see if any of the doors are open, if they came up anywhere. Yeah, uh, battery, battery sewer going battery? up the battery is open. Okay, okay.
Danny was working on Silver Door. He's dead. Very nice. Very nice, buddy. Was that him who came up at the night soon? Yep, uh, it, at least him. I don't know if it was anybody else. But I'm going to check the other battery door. He did not get the silver one unlocked. All right, I'm going to run over and feed Grandpa real quick. Okay, I've only managed to give him about 20. Connie's in the garage. Okay. I'm going to go towards Should the door front slam of the house. Me. I'm going to wait right here at the front of the house. Oh, okay, you're going to go that way? Okay. She... She's going down the ladder. Okay. Yeah, I figured that's what she was going to do. I'm going to feed real quick. Okay. Hmm. <clears throat> Ash's gun do Excellent. sumo wasn't cooking and got their F-13 wife block tower. And <laughs> they got the devs who made cosmetics for Spider-Man 2 PS5 to make cosmetics for TCM. Huge W. I'm sorry, Nessa. You're good. They might come back up that way. Okay. I'm going to go back and check battery again real quick. Um, I'm not hearing nothing about garden shed. Nothing. Yeah, you're talking about Art Bully, uh, Ash. Yeah, dude. They And it's more than just Spider-Man, too, dude. They worked on Fortnite, Diablo. I mean, all those, like, big name games. So we should uh, we should definitely start seeing some really good cosmetics coming in the game and characters and stuff. Gen still on. That's good. Battery was all still closed. Uh, Man Cave just opened up. Uh-huh. Nessa's traps there, so they're going to have uh, yep. fun with that. Right. I'm gonna break these two doors down that lead down that ladder inside the garage here. Okay, not a bad idea. I'm gonna go give Grandpa some blood, keep him happy. Ash says, I'm glad Gun is still making moves, even though TCM clearly has a DLC issue. Yeah, they're definitely not getting content out fast enough, Ash, but uh, hopefully now with Black Tower and all these new studios Very they're manky. partnered with, uh, hopefully they can they can do it now. Okay. They need a three month, uh, they need three month intervals, Ash, in my opinion. Connie's coming back up, man cave. Okay. Man cave? Okay. Yep, she's gonna come in the garage. I'm letting her. I'm back in. Yeah. So she comes yeah. up. I just, I think I just saw somebody over a barn over here at Battery, too, so I'm gonna just hang out over here yeah, for a she's, second. She's right on the stairs. If you want to leave her, I mean, I can try to bust through your trap unless you guys oh, want to. I'm already in pursuit of her. Sorry, <laughs> no, no, you're good, dude. Get you're good. I'm busy over here anyway. We She's going through that back crack there, Nessa. Yeah. So if you flush her through the. Yep, I'm chasing her now. She's going the exact way I would have. I'm a marker. I was just about to ask. We have she Danny, but I forgot. Back. I killed his ass. I have officially become a basement cook. Oh, it's that time. Get back up. <laughs> yeah, we gotta get back up. We yeah. gotta get back up. No more fucking around with that. We tried. Uh, side door on it. On it. Just went in the side gate into okay. uh, bone pile. She's still alive. I got a big hit on her, but that door, that gate is now unlocked. Um, yeah. Evil Dead guy, if you want to take your padlock yes. off of that battery gate and put put it on this gate on the outside of the house. Will do. Just watch for exterior this on that. This gate right here, right? Yep, okay. Yeah, the one right on the outside of the house. Yep. Uh, speaking of battery gate, never mind. Your padlock's no longer there. They just popped it. Okay. Anna's in the basement. Leland's here on the stairs. Yeah, I just big hit her down he there. He knocked me over. Damn. Was that Connie? That had to have been Connie. That gate opened fucking hella fast, dude. Yeah, uh, Leland and Connie are paired together. Yeah, I'm with Connie right now at battery. She's going down well. Just get big slammed her down well. She's in cap. Leland out here in the middle. Okay. Okay, I'm going down the well there. Okay, just make sure one of you guys watch that side gate of the house because they're good for sneaking up in there into the house without I you will. knowing. I will hang around out here. Okay. <clears throat> I'll do my listening in between. Collect blood when it becomes available. Yep, yep, all good. Fuse box is up in the house, by the way, too, on the balcony, so they're gonna have to get in the house to do the fuse. 
And Danny's dead, so we don't have to have too much pressure on the uh, valve. And plus, it's back here with me anyway, a battery. Yeah. If they want to make a play, they're going to have to stab Grandpa, which I think they might end up doing. <clears throat> Ash says, the prices are very questionable. Now, I don't mind the Nicotero price. Uh, I mean, DBD does the same thing, but with less... And nobody cares, but we need some more free content, like grindable content. Yes, that's what I've been saying for a very long time, Ash. We definitely need in-game content that you can unlock and grind. 100%. 100% agree, dude. What's up, Sage? Welcome in, brother. They need to make a victim character and a family member character in which you cannot buy. You must grind for them. Yep, I agree. It'd be fun. Okay, I'm still not seeing any activity over here at Battery just yet. Could you imagine if that's what they did with Chop Top? No, that'd be amazing. To grind for them. That'd be freak. That's what they. That's what they should do, dude. Honestly, you imagine how many players would come back just for that fact alone. Yeah, and, then, and then that's when they can put the uh, some young chick in there too, with something, yeah. with some special ability or something very different than the others, and they'd be like, okay. You grind for her. You can't buy her. You have to grind her. Yeah. I will say that's one thing Gun does need to do. They need to give back to the community now because they really have not done that yet. Yes. Um, they need to throw us a bone, especially for a lot of issues that the game has had and stuff. They should definitely yep. be putting in something free for people to earn. Because I will admit, if they if they never do that, they, they will seem definitely greedy. Uh, One of them's trying to come up garden shed. Okay. <clears throat> trying to keep a close eye on this battery, because the only thing it needs is the battery to be turned off. Shit. Okay. Oh, she... Okay, Connie's back over here at... Oh, I think she might be dead there. Did we get the... Yes, we got the next end cap. She's dead. Yeah. Leland Garden. Yeah. Okay. I knew I was going to stall there, but I, I wanted that big hit because I had hysterical strength. And I knew it was going to be enough to end cap her for the second time. Leland's over here. He's running around. Okay, is he going downstairs? Yep, I'm chasing him. Okay, who do we also... Oh, of course, we have the freaking dynamic duo, Leland and Anna left. Uh, I'm going back to check uh, battery real quick again. Ash says, uh, for example, let's say you need, like, 74 kills on a certain character. And as a reward, you get a cosmetic, like, example, cook and a chef outfit with a big-ass hat. Yeah, dude, simple exactly. shit like that. Oh, yes. shit, battery's off. She's out. I... Never saw exterior. God damn it, dude. Oh. Well, shit. Yeah. I would love for the wardrobes on both both ends to be like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Like, you get so many kills, you know, you unlock a different variant color of a chainsaw. It doesn't have to be anything insane. Like, you know, just something. Nope. Yeah, and then you... It's a nice, simple grind for it, but a new character... Yeah. Something that's going to take a while. Yep. Sage says, did you hear if a family opens a padlock door, it breaks the security pins on it, apparently? I did not know that, Sage. So we ran into that earlier, me and Nessa. Uh, uh, if, that's, if that's what you're talking about, anyway. Uh, we were in Nancy's house, and uh, she got the uh, padlock more than halfway off. Mm -hmm. And then when I went to it, the padlock was still on. But when I did the door... It, the door opened up. So I don't know what happened with that. I don't know if that was a glitch or what. Mm, that is interesting. So the padlock was either mm. not there, but looked like it was, or I don't know. Not sure. You say you saw him, Nessa? Uh, he was in the basement the last time I saw him, but he's probably upstairs by now. Okay. Hey, hey, Big Bezo, what's going on, brother? I'm going to try to feed here once I get some blood. What's up, Bezo? Yeah, I did not know that, Sage. I did not know it breaks the security pins, man. That's wild. Okay. 
Okay, I'm gonna give Grandpa some blood since I managed to collect it by just patrolling that area. Move. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah, I've <laughs> I've just been collecting it by like getting little hits on people and shit. He's over by uh, the side of the um, uh, battery area. Okay. Like on the outside, I think. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna go, he's not on the left side, it doesn't appear. I'm gonna go look on the right side. run into yeah. battery real quick and just check to see if exterior alarms didn't yeah. work again. Uh, Sage or Ash says Chop Dop needs to be free and TCM2 cosmetics. It would literally be such a good choice. I agree. I agree, dude. I just don't see him doing it, but I mean, it'd be nice if they would, especially a... a <laughs> premium character like him. Also, for everyone saying gun fell off after F-13, that was made by Ilphonic. Gun published it. Yeah. No, I do know that. Yeah. That's... He's doing the pressure tank in the back. Okay. That's fine. My battery. I'm going back right now. Ooh, rubber band. Which they did say they're fixing. Haha, <laughs> yeah, come through here. He stabbed me. Coming in this over here. Yeah, go get him. Go get him, Nancy. I think he's gonna try to stab me again. Yep. I got shouldered. Yep, Sam. Great, he's out. Two bone scraps in his shoulder. He's finished. Um, uh, yeah, we should be good. Okay, it's almost done oh, though. If he hits it one more time, it, it will probably open. He's trapped back here, isn't he? Is he still back here? That's what I was wondering. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, no, I'm gonna... maybe not. Okay. I'll run it back up front. We well, can't. He couldn't have gone far. I'm gonna have to camp this uh, pressure tank. Unless he went in battery. Um, <clears throat> Ash says, Black Tower working on TCM gives me hope. They know what ASIM players want. Yeah, I agree. Definitely more than Sumo. Ash, that's for sure. He's going by Johnny Shack. Okay. I'm still going to stay I'm still gonna stay by pressure tank here until it degresses yep. a little more. I'll go over and investigate the Shack. Okay. Yeah, I'm excited about Black Tower too, Ash. Yeah, I think it's gonna take them. It's gonna take them a minute for the transition to get on board and stuff like that. But I think we'll start seeing content faster. At least I'm hoping, dude. Not gonna lie, Ophonic been cooking lately with Ghostbusters game and F13 was pretty good. Yeah. What What about Predator Hunting Grounds though, Ash? How's Ophonic? Uh, they've been cook <laughs> They've been cooking with that too. Or? I mean, yeah, what they've done with Ghostbusters is good, but they. So, you know, they just said fuck Predator Hunting Grounds and just left every all their consumers, those of us that paid hundreds of dollars into that game, in the dust. <laughs> you know, I had no idea that that new Ghostbusters movie was out. Ah, uh, Frozen Empire, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I didn't hear much about it at all, dude, to be honest. I heard it was boring. Yep. <laughs> up until the last end of it, yep. Sam, he might try to go hit Pressure Tank again. He's getting more bone scraps down there. I'm feeding Grandpa. Okay. Grandpa needs like 20 maybe tops to get to five. Okay. I'll start hunting. Garden shed, but he was running back down the stairs. Okay. <clears throat> 
stages. I think Chop Top would uh, probably cost more since they need TCM2 license for it. Yeah, I I couldn't see them doing Chop Top for free. Maybe. Uh, yeah, they're gonna have to pay some money to get that license. Yeah, maybe one of their own created characters that wasn't from the films. You know, kind of like Vir yep. Virginia wouldn't have been a bad idea to have as an in-game character. Um, something like that. Hey, what's up, Trace? Welcome in, brother. Can I hear him at all? Nah, yeah, I'm like, with Ghostbusters, Ash, like, I'm sorry, like, I know they've been doing well with Ghostbusters, but I'll never, I can't trust anything Ophonic makes anymore. Not even Killer Clowns, even though I'm getting it, but the Ophonic's not developing it, they're publishing it. Yeah, Predator Hunting Grounds was sad. Yeah, He's it was trying sad to get up the door. He's right here on me. Okay. Uh, got him. He's dead. Oh, you got him? Good shit, brother. Got Good him. shit. Beautiful. Time to cook, Leland. <laughs> Did you go basement on his ass? No, almost. He was trying to get up the uh, sliding door that leads up to the upstairs, the main level of the house. Oh, nice, dude. Hell in the yeah. kitchen. <laughs> and I just walked in there, and all I was doing was looking for blood. And I found it. <laughs> Good stuff, brother. Nice stuff. Hey, give me one second, guys. Certainly. Guys in stream, I'll be just a moment, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks so much for tuning in. I'm back, guys. Sorry about that. Uh, Sage says, I'm interested in watching it because I think the original Ghostbusters have bigger roles in it this time. They do. It, yeah, I heard that that was cool. Yeah. Uh, Chop Top probably going to be $16, and guess what? Me in Canada, so Nick and was $21, so that means I'm going to have to drop $21 for Chop Top. I don't, I don't know if he's going to be... I don't think he'll be... Uh, if he's in the game, I don't think he'll be a premium character, Ash. Not 100% sure, but I don't think. You know what I mean? I don't think it's going to be like the Nicotero type thing. Uh, Bezo was wondering if uh, we were in chat. Yeah, uh, party chat? Yeah. Yeah, does he want to join? Yeah, if you want to join, uh, we can send you an invite. Um. Yeah, I don't know how we should play this. You want to be hitchhiker? Yeah, I go hitchhiker. Okay. So if I don't play cook, we won't have the locks on the back door. Yeah, we can go these three if you guys want. Okay. We can do these three. Uh, I think we can do it. Yeah. Yeah. Trey says, "I love how people say the Predator game was sad, but it's hard making a game with a literal predator balance." Well. It's not, it's, it, Trace, the balancing is the last thing, I think, that makes the game, that makes the game bad. Like, if the game, if the game was out of balance, I'd be, you know, alright with that. It's just the game was full of bugs, and it was an absolute mess wreck that they never fixed. And they just abandoned it, like, they, they didn't say anything, they just stopped working on it. <laughs> And then they took the DLC money to make Ghostbusters. 
Um, Interesting choice, I guess. Yeah, that's uh, I, I. And Predator was by far more popular of a game than that. Ash says Fire Team is OP on hunting grounds. If they are actually good, and I say that as a Predator man for two years, no, I know that. I know, yeah, they definitely are Ash for sure. Yeah, especially with the saws, snipers, and stuff, dude. Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. What's up, Boy, Bezo? I forgot to tell you, Moose. I gave you the cook cam. Oh shit! Yep, let me bring it up, dude. Give me one <laughs> second. Uh, Mike says, Moose, will we ever get a DVD sequel or spinoff game? Well, there's already spinoff games, Mike, coming. Uh, the casting of Frank Stone is a spinoff that's coming out. It's it's being made by Supermassive Games, the same ones that made uh, Until Dawn and all that shit. Um, as for Dead by Daylight sequel, I don't know, dude. I don't think I don't think there's gonna be a sequel, to be honest. I think it's just they're just gonna keep adding to it until there's nothing left to add to it, or shut it down when it loses popularity. Yeah. Because like it wouldn't make sense to make a sequel to Dead by Daylight because you already got all the best killers and slashers already in the game. I mean, if you were to make a sequel, you just have to put all my, all in the game again. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, how you guys doing tonight? What's up, dude? Hey, Bezo. Doing all right. Just watching. Bezo. I'm not in the mood to play, so just go ahead and have oh, okay. today. Oh yeah. I do need to ask you for some help, even that guy at the end of your stream tonight. Yes. Yes. Regarding You've to been... stream labs. <laughs> yes, we need to uh, we need to get that hooked up for sure. Uh, Trey says Aliens vs Predator is the best Predator game. I agree. Yeah, hundred percent. AVP two thousand ten, dude. Yeah, I got it on Steam. Love it. Oh God, my brother annoyed the shit out of me with that game. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. Yeah, it's so good though. <laughs> Fuck, man. <laughs> He loved it. He he definitely loved it. But I, I was just annoyed when I was like, bro, let's play some Call of Duty. He's like, no, I want to play AVP. I'm like, fuck off. Let's get some Call of Duty, damn it. Yeah, it's addicting. It always, yeah, it was definitely addicting. Uh, Ash says... He, he loved both Alien and the Predator playing as both. But I think he liked playing as the Alien. Julie's uh, running up the rear staircase. I'm hitting her. Got three hits so far. Beautiful. Um... Ash says DVD will never have a sequel. There's too much stuff on it. That's what I'm saying. It wouldn't make any sense to have a sequel in that game. They'll just they'll keep it running till till it starts losing till popularity. Yeah, and yeah. then they'll just shut it down, make it single player or something, or like uh, you know, future proof it to where people can play it with bots or host their own matches and shit like F13. What you swinging for, you would go? <laughs> just in case, it was just a precaution. <laughs> you like this one here though? I'm watching him. Leland, check me on the back porch. Get him. Yeah, yeah fuck him up. Chase He's going to the gap. Out. Where'd he go? Oh. Grandpa. Oh, that's, that's him. Oh, that's him. <laughs> yeah, Bezo, he, he, that guy's got a share oh. screen up if you want to watch it. Oh. Yeah, I'm watching him. I'm watching Cook Cam oh. now. Yeah. Cook Cam. Get him, get him. Boy, he was super fucked. He was in Nessa's trap, and I went out the window and stepped in my trap. That guy, that poor guy, I feel bad for him. I mean, he had fucking barbed wire, bones, and everything on it wrapped uh -oh, around his ankles. Oh, yeah. My traps are getting him tonight. Go Good outside, shit. go outside, my dear guy. Get him, get him, baby. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, poor Sonny. There you go. Not the Sonny. Yeah. Oh, my damn. You want to play with sticks, you raccoon? We're beating him up tonight. <laughs> <laughs> you a little robber? Somebody yeah. told me that today at work. Like, oh, you a little robber? I was like, did you just call me a raccoon? Yeah, they'll <laughs> they'll definitely do a spinoff, dude. That's for sure. Yeah, after this game, you would go I'll bring a cook cam. Oh, up you're there. all good, buddy. Whenever you want, it's all for you. Anna here, running into Den. Oh, someone's got. Oh that shit! This door's down. latched. Uh huh. I think she went through the gap. She had to have. She might have went back downstairs to the basement. Oh, she could have. Yep, somebody did. Yep, downstairs. Did yeah, B said this might actually work out, dude. Got you got a little got a fucking little coach in here. He's like, it's where you guys need to be, it's where you need to go. That's right. Trey says, I wish Jason was in DBD. Um, 
Yeah, they couldn't get the license to him, man, obviously because of the lawsuit that was going on. Yeah. You know, which was why the Friday the 13th was having a trouble. Too much with that lawsuit and that Friday the 13th shit went out for yeah. forever. And, um... Oh, what's his face? Uh... The, the the head of behavior, the creator of Dead by Daylight, I forget his name, Mark something, but he said um, he don't think they'll ever be able to get Jason. <clears throat> that would Shit. be the biggest, that would be the biggest deal. It, dude, you think Dead by Daylight's bad now and hearing about it all the time now if they got Jason? Uh, yeah. God damn. That game would fucking explode. That's like the last piece of the puzzle they need. They got everybody else. They got Michael Myers, don't they? Yeah, he was the first licensed DLC they got, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen him with Ghostface, seen him with Michael Myers, and then... Yep. They got you Freddy. Got Freddy Krueger, too. Freddy, yep. Yeah. They uh, got the wrong Freddy Krueger, though, didn't they? Yeah, they got that fucking... Oh, someone snared on my trap, but I'm feeding. I don't know where it's at, though. I don't know which trap. Oh, there is it, Dan. Okay. Oh, the crossface. Yeah. Oh, yeah, barricade. Grandpa needs like 50 to be to level 5. I see her, yeah. I reset my trap. She's gonna have to hit it again. <laughs> Fuck her up, Nessa. Yeah, you got her. She she went down. She went down. Right behind you. Fucking nice. X. Yep, good shit, good shit. Beautiful. GG's. I feel like family should have a gallows or something too, like just drag them by their hair to like a door and slam their head in the door and break just their neck. Just something, something different. Yeah, yeah. environmental yeah. kills, dude. Yeah, that'd be great. Yep. Fucking, so many toilets are there on this map? Like fucking swirly them and shit, dude? Like Friday the 13th? Hell yeah. Or drown them in the bucket of blood. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. Me. All right. Uh oh, we lost Nessa. Uh, we'll back out. Yep, I'll pull you back yeah. in. I'll tell you what would be cool is if uh, there was an animation where, let's say, I mean, I suppose you could do it with Hitchhiker, but let's just say Cook, and um, he would take him to Grandpa. Yeah. yeah. Take take him to Grandpa and have Leatherface put a hammer in the head and try to... Put the hammer in the... In, yep, uh-huh, yep. I got a code, Nessa, if you need it. Yeah. Like, you will take two February. Okay, it like, is uh, nine eight N N. 8P. Step away for just a moment, guys. Yep. <clears throat> All right. We're here. Oh, Art the Clown. Yeah, you're right about that, Trace. Yeah, they might, they might, I could see them getting Art the Clown. Yeah, he's becoming pretty popular in today's slasher. Art the Clown. That sounds familiar. Is that from a Terrifier? Terrifier, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I could definitely see them getting him at some point because it's kind of a low budget franchise. <laughs> definitely low budget. Yeah, definitely low budget. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. That'd be cool. Didn't they get it? Did they ever get the No, clown they never got it? Pennywise. Nope. Uh -uh. They got they got their own version of the clown, but they don't have Pennywise. <clears throat> Ash says, "I just realized F13 servers are gonna shut down this year in December." Rip. Yep, this year, dude. Oh shit. <laughs> Stevie Wonder gave up Arizona, I guess. I accidentally hit it. <laughs> yep. Better get your F13 games in, Ash, dude. It's coming, dude. Well, about nine months. Yeah, Offender Kruger. <laughs> yeah, I know, yeah, I know, Ash, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they couldn't get the OG, couldn't, couldn't get uh, Robert Englund's Freddy. But they got the Ring Girl, they got, uh... oh my god, they got the Pig from Saul, Amanda. Did they ever get the Jeepers Coopers guy? No, they didn't get him, I don't think, no. That should be another one, actually. Yeah, there's a lot of controversy with that guy, too, with the director or whatever, so I don't know if they're... 
I don't know if they want to. Can you imagine him flying across the map, grabbing people and Scott is like, you can't counter that. That's what I'm saying, dude. He, I don't, I don't know if he, get, if they could put him in like that. You know, that's why I said about Predator, because they, they talk about pre putting Predator in DVD. But like, he uses trees and jumps. You know what I mean? Like he Predator and visibility. Can, he yeah. Can see him. Like he he can jump from one side of the map to the other in Dead by Daylight. Like you know, they he, they'd really have to limit him. You know what I mean? Really bring him down, and it just wouldn't. I don't think it'd seem right. Well, that lobby uh, went fast. Yeah, dude, it was incredibly fast. I didn't even. I, we didn't. We weren't even ready up, and it just fucking started. I was like, hmm, I wonder who I am. I don't even know which side I was playing <laughs> a moment ago. <laughs> like, that's cool. I'm, I'm all right with that. Oh, my gosh. I think they would have to use that primal predator moose from uh, Prey on Hulu. Yeah, the pharaoh. Yeah. One. Yeah. Well, I mean, like yeah. the Indian-style predator. That I, you know, they just... The only thing you got to worry about is invisibility cloak. Yeah, because he didn't have a plasma caster or anything like that. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's what I think. They they would have to make his primary his primary weapon would be his wrist blades, which would make sense. Um, and then for like his ability or something, may, let, maybe let him use a spear gun or something. You know what I mean? Like he did in the movie. Uh, they could make it work. They would just have to really kind of limit his speed and stuff. <clears throat> yeah, Ash says the creator of Jeepers Creepers is the creeper. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he's oh, a little, uh, a little Jeepers creepy. Creepers. Absolutely did not like that that movie. How? Creepers. Creepers? Yeah, but I, I loved the second one, and then I kind of was like, okay, I get it now. I'm like, and then I kind of went back, and I'm like, I'm okay with it now. I love the one in the bus, the second one. Yeah. Yeah, the first one people kind of didn't like it just because they killed off. It's like he killed off the main guy. Yeah. Trapped in like, a house, Sonny. Grim. Okay. It's like, it's grim, I get it. But then that second one came out, and I'm like, okay, this is cool. Yeah, it gave more in-depth to, uh, to the Jeep the Creeper guy, or the Creeper. That's, that's right, it did. But the one that, the third one, the fourth one, that was garbage. I don't even bother. Oh, yeah. Ash says, I feel like Jeepers Creepers would be too risky due to the creator who's an absolute mo Yeah, that's Leland, what I'm saying. Yeah. Oh, Leland checked me. He's up at by battery. Okay. Oh, shit. He's okay. I see him. Running. Looks like he's trying to turn the battery off him. right now. Yeah. I'm wondering, yeah. If he, I'm wondering if he was behind it when I padlocked it. Fucker. Oh, Connie's over Connie's there. Connie's going to bottom the battery right now. Yep. Oh, out. nice! Yes. Let's go, baby. Uh, you said Connie, Connie bottom she's battery. Somewhere. She, she's in that grass, probably. Yep. Got your ass. Good shit. Good shit. That top battery gate's gonna need closed. Okay. I think. I think. It's pretty sure it's still open. I'm looking in the grass right now for Connie. I oh, got, you her. got her. She's over here. Come here, girl. Is she going around the house? Go. She's yep, going around she's the going. house. Fuck. She's hitting gap. Yeah, that door. Maybe. Nope, she's going past it. She's going to middle. She's going to middle. Yep, middle grandpa shop. I'm, I'm going to try to push her out the backside. Yeah. Shit, I can't move because I was stuck. That's, that's all good. She was yeah. going downstairs. Oh, wait, she's going out the back right now. It looks like you're kind of spiking and lagging a little bit. Uh, there, guy. Yeah, I know. It was, yeah. Through the gap underneath. Going yeah. through the front. Yeah, so it's a rubber banding issue that Gun's aware of, and it's in the patch notes for coming out. I guess we're all doing it. She's in the house. Yep. Yep, chasing her out the side right now. She's about to hit this back barricade. She just hit it. Leatherface's barricade. She's going to the Somebody back just, of the house. I just heard a gate open. Yes, yeah. did you come out of the gate? I closed it. She's dead? But it didn't make any noise. Uh, Julie's got a lot of points. Yeah, check Jin's side. It's got to be Jin's side because I heard the Jin when Evil Dead guy yeah. was running. I yeah. heard it. Okay. Yeah, I thought I heard something too. I wasn't sure. I saw his ass and this. Did you open the door? <laughs> yeah, poor Sonny Sage. Yeah, he, uh, I knew, you know, I knew, oh yeah, she did get out, Jen. You're right. Uh, yeah, she didn't go off the top. She went out the bottom. 
bottom, yeah. yep. But nothing's unlocked inside. Yeah. So she could just be chilling in here. She's in some bushes. Yeah, I knew he was going to try to close that door, Sage. Just little did I know he was going to close it on himself. <laughs> Imagine Death Slinger had dead eye, says Trace. Oh, Death Slinger, yeah, dude with the gun and uh, Dead by Daylight. Yeah, yeah, he was pretty cool. I bought him back whenever I used to play. Yeah, you left that door open. She probably could have went out. Yeah, she might have went out. Okay, I'm going to go feed Grandpa real quick. Okay. Yeah. I'll hang I'll around. Yeah. Fuse box trap still good. He thinks she's around, that's for sure. Nessa will be able to pick her up shortly. Um... Are battery gates all closed? Okay, bottom one's closed. I'm gonna go feed real quick. I respect my hitchhiker, and I meant to put three into blood so I can get him 100 blood. I keep forgetting to do that. I'm gonna have to do that after this game. Yeah, I got lamp to see. <laughs> yeah, I knew I was going to, too. <laughs> uh, funny as hell. Julie's by a red light. That's all I know. Red light, so she yeah. might be by one of the exit gates. Jen or battery. Probably she's, Jen. She's in there. Yep. She's inside that house. Or that she, she's either right there in front of you or behind you in that area. You can go that way. I'm going to go this way. Does it look like it was near a pallet or something? Hmm. Can you, or can you, are you able to check battery, Nessa, just in case she reverted her back over to there? Oh. Yeah, I'm, I'm manning it over here. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, here she is. She's gonna hit this no, well, I think. Get a good licking in her. Ah, oh, damn it. You miss it. Damn. Okay. Oh, God, I'm tired. Ash says, I'm going to go play some Evil Dead. Uh, see you later. Good night. Yeah, have a good night, brother. Appreciate you stopping by, Ash. Always good chatting it up with you, man. You have some good matches tonight, dude. Ash says, Sonny was done dirty. <laughs> he did himself dirty. <laughs> he tried to do me dirty and it backfired on him. Oh, shit. Okay, she's picking a blue door. Okay. Metal door. Moose, I finally I posted that Twitter video of that fuck around find out. On oh, that was TikTok. good. Oh, hell yeah. yeah. I posted on TikTok. First time posted on TikTok within, what, maybe over a year? Yeah. And I'm already at 2,000 people. Holy it's fuck, wonderful. dude. It's awesome, wow. dude. Dude, I've been hearing TikTok's really good for this game. Like, a lot of people are getting fucking ton of... They're live streaming this game on TikTok and everything. I know. I've considered that. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Until it gets banned and none of us can use it anymore. <laughs> yeah. I heard about that, too. Why are they so on TikTok that way? What What is it that's going on with it? Uh, well, it's uh, TikTok, TikTok is a Chinese-owned... I was going to say, that's, that's pretty much the answer. I was yep, uh, yep that's Chinese pretty much... <laughs> yeah. They're afraid, you know, of course, they're spying on everybody's private information and all that shit, so... Well, maybe uh, it's time somebody else does a TikTok that isn't meta. Yeah, yeah. Julie's yeah. Right here by battery. Okay. This is what happens when you let one company monopolize and run everything. Yep. Like Disney. Like, like uh, Disney. Microsoft. Where at by battery? Out by battery, battery, hun? I'm here. I'm here with her. She's at the door gate. I mean. Mm -hmm. She's dead. Good call. Okay. Yes. I Trey says, does Grandpa have OnlyFans? I wouldn't doubt it. <laughs> I wouldn't doubt it, Trace. <laughs> Dude, I will totally make Grandpa an OnlyFans. That would be fucking hilarious. Who doesn't have OnlyFans? Of course Grandpa has one, Trace. <laughs> oh, shit. 
Did you hear about that, um, that creator of the X Men '97 got fired because he had an OnlyFans account? <laughs> nah, that's crazy, dude. Yeah. So what, people aren't allowed to fucking uh, to do anything they want anymore, or can, they can't do what they want anymore nowadays. You no, know? no, you. It's not possible to do contract. Breach a contract. Yeah, but you know it's kind of fucked up how they, you know, they draw that thin line between your personal life and, you know what I mean, mm -hmm. and your work life and what you're not allowed to do. Uh, I can back out if you guys want to do victim. Bisa, you want to get in for some? No, I'm good tonight, bro. I'm I'm, I'm at you chill. Are you sure? I had enough of my shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, I backed out. Even that guy, so I can put us at a party. I'll give you guys a code. Uh, whenever you're ready. Oh, okay. All right, we'll back out. Unless you guys are in the same party, you can just invite me. It don't we, matter to me. No, no, we were we were together, but we're waiting for you. <laughs> okay. We'll take a code. Okay. All right. It is eight P seven Y V Y. Good stuff, man. I reload up, guys. I'm gonna grab a drink. I'll be back in just a sec, man. Sounds good. Yeah. That's that's really unfortunate that they fired that guy because he did. He wrote the first two seasons, and then they gonna sit there and fire him. Yeah. So I'm, bet, I'm, I'm betting they banking on X Men '97 on Disney. That new a new show is gonna take off, and then they'll have the first two seasons already done. Yep. Baking off his success of firing him for having an OnlyFans account. What was he doing on his OnlyFans account? It, they didn't say. Now he did do. A, he did come out on social media and says something about. It. I didn't get a chance to watch it, but I'm pretty sure. I saw somebody in the comments saying so. OnlyFans is not just for explicit content. OnlyFans could be for anything. It could be. It you can sell be, your art. Was, yeah. Yes, it was originally not designed to be that. What it's known for. Yeah. It's just that there was there was nobody to tell you you couldn't do that, and then it yeah. got popular. Mm. I could make an OnlyFans account and then show my parody videos. You know, like the ones that don't get on YouTube, or longer versions yeah. of them, or ones that feature more swearing or something in it. You know, you know, whatever I want it to be. But you can also do that with Patreon now. You always kind of could. But you needed another platform for Patreon, but now you can actually upload videos to it. But they don't allow any of that nudity. Well, they allow nudity for artwork, but they don't allow any of that stuff that OnlyFans does. OnlyFans, yeah. And that's why they do OnlyFans, because that they get what don't they get like a hundred percent of whatever they make on OnlyFans? They don't have to go through restrictions. Like it's it's very close to it, yeah. If they make a lot on it, yeah. Mm-hmm. And they you know these a lot of these streamers and stuff. These girls, they'll 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 have their Twitch account, they'll do their game streaming, and then they'll they'll be you know they'll have an OnlyFans going on. Where you can, you Trace know, says, "I hear the clicking boost. I know you're checking. I did check Trace, and he does indeed have several <laughs> OnlyFans." <laughs> so if you're interested, man, if they're out there, they're out there, dude. Raul says, "I can't wait for Thursday updates for me at 6 a.m." Hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah. Bro, well, I don't know if you've told me before or not, but what platform do you play on? Do you play on uh, PlayStation, dude? Because I know for us on PlayStation, it's going to be like 11 a.m. Eastern time. Yeah. Uh, hey, what's up, Moody Astronaut? Welcome in. It says, what does Danny mean when he says need to make this right in that one escape voice line? I'm thinking it. I'm thinking it has to do with Maria. You know what I mean? Um. The fact that he didn't go on the trip with her, and that was probably one of the reasons why she was abducted. You know, if you played Petals or have seen the gameplay of Petals, um, I think he regrets it. You know what I mean? He regrets not going with her, and he wants to find her, save her, and make it right. I don't, I, I don't know. Could be wrong about that, but that's what I'm thinking, Moody. Sage says, only one more sleep for me. The update is tomorrow at 11 p.m. for me. Oh, yeah, dude. You got the fucking New Zealand time. Yeah, hell yeah, Sage. Good shit. Oh, yeah. And that's, that's, that's the 
Hey, what's up, Nomad? I just beat Rag Ragnarok's yeah, full story with just my fists. Oh my like god, dude. What what difficulty did you play on, Nomad? No, Holy just, shit. <laughs> Raul says, uh, Xbox, I thought updates are for 8, 8 a.m. Eastern Time. Okay, so they're going to update the game, Raul. You're right about that at 8 o'clock. But PlayStation Store does not refresh until 11 o'clock a.m. Eastern Time. So on PlayStation, we won't be able to actually buy the character, Virginia, until that time. We'll be able to play the mill map and all that stuff early, but we just won't have access to anything that you can purchase until that time. You know what I mean? So, that's my problem. I don't know what time Xbox's store refreshes, but I know that's the way for PlayStation. So you might be okay. You might be able to get her at that time on Xbox. I don't know. Uh, you played it on Give Me God of War all with fists, Nomad? Holy shit, dude. Congratulations on that. Fuck that. That game was long enough, man. I'm one and done on that. So she says, sick if, sick if it's on Steam early, I might have a chance to play her. That Yeah, dude, yeah. If she's purchasable, you know, when the update... Because they said once the update comes out, that's when she's also going to be in the game. She will be in stores to purchase. It's just when your selected platform basically unlocks her to be bought, you know? So. Sadly, we always get last dibs on PlayStation, man. No man says I beat the story and side missions as well as mini bosses. Fuck that Valkyrie! God damn, you beat the Valkyries too. Jeez, it was no man. What possessed you <laughs> to do all that? God damn. Trace says I have at work at eleven tomorrow. Well, it's not tomorrow, Trace. I mean, you'll be you'll be good. You know what I mean? Tomorrow. Unless it's already tomorrow for you, I don't know. But um. That's crazy, Nomad, though. Congratulations on that, dude. That's awesome. Did you, did you like, document all that, Nomad? Did you stream all that or anything or make videos? No, I think it's cool, Nomad. That's awesome, dude. That's not curvy. That's just fat. Man, Jesus. Some of these women oh, they don't God. need to be wearing that. Oh, yes. You should only be wearing leggings unless you're out in Aspen and in the Rockies and the mountains or if you're working out. But if, even if you're working out, like half of them, they'll wear their shirt and they'll, cover, they'll, they'll pull up the shirt and tuck in the back and not the front. I'm like, so why do, you have your, why do you have your ass showing in these leggings but you got the front like <laughs> you missed, you missed a whole butt. lot. Yeah, I can definitely tell. Um, Put your stream marker in and, and go back to it later. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we were talking about OnlyFans and how many messages I get, and then I was joking around. <laughs> oh shit! Okay. Very, uh, very interesting yeah. stuff. But. <laughs> like I have a, I have a lady at work, and she thinks she's so cute. Like, you're fat. <laughs> oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ! <laughs> Holy fuck! I don't want to see your stretch marks. I don't want to see. He said, marks. he said she thinks she's cute. Oh my god! Like, yeah, because like you know how people just obnoxious and they think they're all that when they're really not. Oh yeah. Like, I know people personally. You know, I know people like that. Myself, and she tried to mess with me one day, like say something about me and talk about me like you don't say nothing yeah because i don't get tired of looking at y'all motherfuckers every day and I ain't <laughs> second of all, you ain't that cute and you ain't that fine you ain't thick stop walking around here like you thick you wearing leggings one your body don't even shape right in them leggings you got a fupa <laughs> fucking fupa sticking out in your thighs that's a problem <laughs> video's coming soon no matter hell yeah brother hell yeah man can't wait for that man that's crazy shit dude Mm -hmm. I mean, some some like that stuff, but yeah, mm -hmm. some like it. I mean, I, I like a little chunky old little girl, but I, I ain't I, like if she's coming at me with this attitude, like she just all that. 
I'm like, okay. Yeah, that's the... Well, that's what's... That's what's... That that's what's any... <laughs> That's with anybody. That's even with someone that's, you know, super skinny or anything. If they're acting like that, I want nothing to do with them. I don't care who it is. I don't yeah, care if they're the... Nothing to do with you. I don't care if it's the hottest fucking thing on the planet. Or they call that the, uh, the ones who are acting like the trophy wife when they ain't a trophy wife? Yep. There's, there's a difference between being confident and being obnoxious. There's, there's a yep. big difference. And yeah. People are like, well, that's the same thing. No, I'm being confident. No, that's not being confident. You're being obnoxious. You're trying to get attention. You're wanting attention. You're putting yourself out there to get attention. Mm -hmm. And that's not a good looking shape for you. Go get in the gym. And then we'll get in the gym. <laughs> All right. It's funny because like, I'll see a cute Hispanic girl. And, like, she, she, a, she a little chunky, not too bad. But like she's quiet. She's to herself. She ain't out there wearing these leggings and... Trying to have attention and all that stuff. I, I was, you know, talking to her one day, just having a conversation. Oh, you just like her, huh? Like, well, I think she's interesting because she's not out there like you. Yeah, not full of herself, yeah. She ain't full of herself. You, you full of shit. And I seen a lot of shit. No matter how much you polish the turd, you're still a piece of shit. So. Mm hmm. <laughs> Very true, dude. Go on out there, side garden. You know you want to. Is that behind me? You got your ability, so if you have time, you could probably pop that first lock on the front left door and then you go down well, just in case they want to chase you. The side garden opened? Uh, he's open about to, it now. He's working on it now. Okay, I'm on my way also. Yeah. Internet has ruined society. Oh, 100%. What's that? That one big model, I think she's like one of the first big model, that Ashley Graham chick. Mm-hmm. And how she first started, how she was really overweight, when they want to call her big and curvy. I'm like, uh, that's not big and curvy. She's just fat. She lost the weight. And then gained the game because she had a kid. But it's like, nah, at first she, she was fat. And then she lost the weight. And now she became thick. Like, there's a difference. You got to lose that weight first when we call you thick. Uh, you want to try to, you want to pop this back door? I am. Okay, I'm right here, uh, go, uh near no, the front. He's coming. he's coming right now. He, oh my god, oh my god, man. oh shit, he knows he did you not there. See me. He knows you. There's no way he did not see you. He blind as a fucking bat, did. ain't he? Of course he's gonna find me. Now nah, he might be coming yeah, straight to. to yeah, you're got to go. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Are you still here? No. No, he was that guy. He was chose the wrong time to run. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm going to get exactly what I want. Pop it, go well. Go well, baby. Hold on. No, no, wait. I was going to say. Yep, yep. I got oh, my God. That help. other face is not running. He, he's going to. Oh, my God. Go, go, go. Well, he was that guy. Get down there. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh God! You should have you should have went down the uh you should have went in that little gap. Was it not? It was Which open. But you, you had time to open it, like just spam it open. Oh, and go that I gap could. I suppose it. I could have spammed. I, yeah. I I briefly thought about it, but I got a fuse. Yeah, buddy. I got I gotta get some health. Turn around, look up. I thought I saw one on that bottle table. Um. Right there, on the nope, barrels to the nope. right. Yeah, nope, nothing pickable. Hmm. Yeah, you're right, it almost did look like one. It's okay, there should be one around here somewhere. Oh, Sonny, right you there. scared me, there's one. I'm coming! There we go, I got it. Shit. Ah, fuck, dude, I'm, I think I'm dead here. I cannot find any fucking health. Gotta get out of there. But he tried to find you too. But Johnny wants your ass so bad. He wants that cotton candy strawberry. That's right. <laughs> he, does. he does. I don't blame him either. Johnny's probably a fucking Dorito bearded fuck anyway. <laughs> he probably is. I actually called somebody at work too. Did you, did you do that? <laughs> Good. Uh, I knew like, you liked that, that one. Dude, that Johnny's, that Johnny's blind as fuck, dude. Yeah. 
he he literally just walked right fucking past me. <laughs> he didn't even see me. Now you know why I got away from that Johnny when we was on uh what you call it? Uh last yesterday. <laughs> Ew, Bane. <laughs> Ew, Bane's Johnny here. Bane Ew. <laughs> Sage says that Johnny. Gone. Johnny be blind. <laughs> yeah. That's about right. Yeah. I got on Suicide Squad today. I did too. I was on. Is someone all the way out the back? Not me. I'm back in cold. No. But they keep going back on the back porch. Yeah, I might want to try to hear. Looking. Uh huh. I'm grabbing me some more tools, and I'm going to go off that door that I was just at. Anybody near the fuse box exit? Nope. I don't, well, I don't know. I'm, I'm in cold room. Okay, yeah, I'm about right. to hit it right now. It's straight ahead. It's straight ahead. Straight ahead from where I'm yeah. at now? Oh, yeah. Yeah, straight, yeah straight. I am by it. Yeah. Shit. Why, are you going to pop that off? Yeah, one second. God damn it. Okay. I'm just going to hang here a second. Man, they gave me some hard fucking math on that. There we go. I probably won't make it, but as long as somebody else gets out, it'll be awesome. Okay, I can get out. Here, I'll even make some noise. That way, they'll... Yeah, going down that well, that's by Sidegarden, does take too long. Yeah. Good job, Nessa. Yeah. Time, you got it. Where, where's Nessa at? So I know if uh, I. Uh, she's going she out to the gate. Yep. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> cool. <laughs> they might have exterior though. All right. Oh, shit! I wish I would have known she was out there. Damn, I'm fucked. Be careful. Oh no, you shouldn't have went to that one. I thought you were gonna go through the bathroom. Yeah. Come on, Leland, use oh. it! Jesus oh, Christ, God. man. Yeah, like... Oh, what you press triangle immediately, and it takes a while for it to go, right? Ugh. Oh. If I would have known she was out there, I could have helped, man. That's crazy. All right. That's that's all good. GG. Oh, Nessa. <sighs> no. Fucking Johnny come save the damn day. Fuck Johnny. Fucking be Dorito bearded fuck. <laughs> Dorito bearded fuck. <laughs> Fuck you, yeah, Johnny. He didn't respond to that tweet because I was trying to figure out if Johnny supposed to be at a tracky, and he, he still tracks even when I had Julia and I used my ability. Yeah. He still mm -hmm. tracks me to in the grass, and I'm just like, okay, so what's the point of that shit now? Mm-hmm. Right. Man, did you? I should have just came up the stairs and um, instead of going out the basement exit, I could have just gone out there with Vanessa. That three would have been my next move. Mm hmm. I already popped that lock on that door. I don't know how the hell I got away, but I got away. Quiet down. Oh, I gotta go to the bathroom. Mm. I'll go back out. Oops, Mike wasn't muted. <laughs> no, no, you're good. I thought you were just telling me that. I was like, I'm fine. <laughs> I'll say, I'll say it too. I'm, you know, I don't give a fuck. I gotta take a piss, guys. I'll be right back. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's all right if you guys want to start loading. Man, they're only taking a second anyway. Oh, okay. Yep. Well, here's what I'll do. I'm going to start it up, and I'll also be back in just a sec myself. Yep, me too.
Yeah, I got a dog next to me. There you go. Yes, good. Three of them. Do y'all be feeding them like quail eggs and some type of ground meat with some duck no. wing and like these people do on TikTok feeding them fucking gourmet expensive ass food? Like it's fucking dog food. That'd be no, dead no. in ten years. Yeah, I. <laughs> no, no, not at all. Yeah. I don't understand how they can do that. I mean, I get it. That's like your only thing. You're, you're a fan of dogs. That's your only child, technically. Yeah, sure. I can understand that, but... If um, there's something... Neza can really answer these questions for you because she works for a veterinarian and she knows her, her stuff about that. I think our belief was always that um, if there is a certain health issue or dog food isn't, um, isn't giving them enough nutrition or there's problems with the teeth when they're older... There are certain times where feeding them some of that stuff is, is fine, you know. And if somebody wants to buy that sort of thing as opposed to wet food, you know, fine. We don't use wet food. I only feed them uh, dry food. Um, they're in a dry food thing, you know. Um, yeah, I'm feeding like table scraps, like chicken no. bones and stuff like nope. that. Nope, 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 all bad. Yep, all, all can be potentially very bad. Um, try to teach them not to eat any type of... Uh, table scraps that way they won't uh, reach or grab for food even though we have two Shelties which is like a miniature collie and then we have Great Danes oh I love and Great they, Danes I wanted they, one so bad I wanted to call them Scooby Doo uh, no where, ours, is, ours is Marmaduke nice I remember Marmaduke mm -hmm. was, was the Marmaduke mm -hmm. actually a Great Dane or was it yes a, yes uh, mm -hmm. okay, yep yeah. yep and so is Scooby Doo nice. yep and it's the fawn colored one the fawn colored, that's what they call it, fawn colored uh, Great okay. Dane. And he's a male, nice. and he's huge, gigantic. Like, if you were to, if someone was to show up on this property and they were to see him standing there, it's pretty intimidating. Yeah, I, I wanted, uh, there's two or three types of animals I wanted. But I know mm -hmm. one of them, I, it's, it's a risk having here because it's so hot. So the first one I always wanted was a Great Dane. Yep. And I was like, if it's too big for a house, I know I had some time to intimidate and, yep. you know, around kids. Because I did a lot of coaching and stuff uh, when I was in college. I used to have a Great Dane and sometimes mm -hmm. I have practices and meetings and stuff. Uh, and the second one was a uh, Doberman. They're very smart. Very loyal. Yes, they are. Love Doberman. Yes. And then the third one was a Husky. I wanted, like, the big Husky. <coughs> That was a big one. Yeah, you want the... Okay. My neighbor has a husky, man. It's fucking beautiful. Beautiful dog. Like, I like the Siberian husky. I'm trying to think of another one. I think it's what it is, a Siberian, if I'm not mistaken. Alaskan Malmute. Yes. And they're a bit bigger. Yes, yep, that she, one. She knows, yep. Yes, I wanted the Alaskan Malmute. That's what I wanted. How big they are. I'm like, I need... I want a dog to have, like, that can protect the family a little bit. Yep. And. Yeah. So it's like Bay Husky it, and Alaskan Man. That's what I wanted. They're escape artists. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, but like, I still want a great dame, but if I can, I, I, I do want to try to get a Doberman. I, I love They're both Doberman. very nice. Yeah. They're very nice and they're very smart and they're, they're very sneaky. I like that. I like them about <laughs> the Doberman. Yeah. Cause when I used to do the Amazon delivery, there used to, uh, one of the houses that was on my route always had a Doberman. Such a beautiful Doberman. It had that little reddish, reddish, uh, reddish color, reddish brown color. It was a beautiful dog, and it used to always come up to me. I used to give it treats and everything, and I was like, oh, I miss that dog. I ought to go back on that route and just, just to visit that. Kick it dog. off, Jen, right now, Leland. Okay. Jesus. Damn. Already. Yeah. What the fuck? Also, somebody else is over here too. I think Danny. Yeah, they came up already. Man, okay, Jesus Christ. I'm in the garage. She's heading to the front door. Okay. I haven't even got a trap set yet. Oh, she's going in circles. She's coming out the uh, front garage. So is Leland. He's just circling me the... around here, fighting again. I think ah. I think they may be getting battery okay. open right now. Okay, yeah, this is really going south very fast. It's Anna. Uh, Anna is something else. 
Donna's a bitch. Oh no, she's not. We gotta check battery. Damn it. Okay, battery's uh, still right. locked. I'm gonna go over on this side because I know I've seen Julie over here. They're all over here. Okay. Trace has to start a playing hitch again because no one has escaped me because of the gap perk. Yeah, it's good shit, dude. It's yeah, good shit. Anna's in the shed. Okay. There's someone over in Johnny's shack right now. Way. Somebody can go. Okay. Anna's on the. Okay. I am almost there. Okay. Okay. Earth pressure should be tampered. Pressure tank just went up. Jesus. Yep, it's a garden oh, shed. Oh, coming out. She's running out. Runner, uh, running out where? Yeah. Yeah, pressure's tampered. Fighting Anna in the front by the shed. Okay. I'm going to go put traps on the gate. Little bitch. Yes, she is. Does she go back in? Yep. You can go that way, you would dig out. Yeah, go that way. I'll watch the crack. Yeah. They're they're all gonna be rushing this gate here in just a few seconds. Jen's also off now. Yep, here they're coming to the pressure gate right now. A bunch of uh, two or three of them coming okay, to pressure I'm coming. gate. Fuck her! I'm letting her go. Okay. I'm coming right now. Yeah, it's about to open. Leland was on the bridge. Danny here went down the. Anna. Okay. Fighting on uh, in the middle. Damn it. Oh, Danny's over Six. here. Oh, come on. This saw does not need to stall when I do a light swing. Yeah, yeah, I know. That's annoying. It was a light swing. Okay. Are you able to chase her, Nessa? Yeah, working on it. Okay. Where is she? Going up the driveway. The front. Fighting in the middle of the drive. Damn it. <laughs> that's that's usually every Ana player in a nutshell. Um. Damn, she's gonna get out the gate. Oh, is it open? Almost. Oh, I hit him. I hit him. Fucking Ana! Damn it. Okay, I think they might, they all pushing for that up there, I think, maybe that. I'm going to try to, I'm going to try to turn the gen back on. The cars. Oh, they're, never mind. Forget it. That's ridiculous. Gigi? Uh, yeah, I didn't, I didn't even have time to set my first trap, dude. <laughs> like, I, I think I grabbed one blood bucket when we started and they were already kicking the gen off. <laughs> Go back to day. What's up, Ty Bear? He was probably talking shit. Like, bitch, you know damn well he was out before we was out there. Fuck. Yeah, dude, I'm, I was actually, I was surprised to see that. I was like, what the fuck, man? I just want to pick up a blood bucket. I see, I'm watching Leland kicking a jet. I'm like, holy shit. They're like, we gotta mega rush this as fast as humanly possible. And set our little records for our YouTube videos. Mm -hmm. Which is ridiculous. That's the color. It was red and rust of that dome. That was the color. Beautiful color on that dog. Trying to get another German Shepherd, dude. I fucking love them dogs. Had them growing up. I used to want one. Smart when as I fuck. Them, them, when I would see them in them military videos and stuff, I just don't want to miss how the fuck Well, yeah. I mean, if you get to train police dogs, you know what I mean? Dogs is a little bit different, but the more domesticated ones, like they, a little more calmer. <clears throat> I had two for oh my gosh the one one she lived till she was seventeen and the other one I think was sixteen. I mean like they did. They had long coat and short coat. Mhm. Mm 
Are you talking about the uh, German Shepherd? Mm -hmm. You said you want a Rottweiler, Bezo? No, I said I definitely. I had one. I don't want no one. Oh, okay. Yeah, my mom had one for a while, too. I was a boxer, <laughs> but he died. She was nice, like mm -hmm. she was a nice dog, but she was like very intimidating. <laughs> like I was always afraid yeah, I, she I was gonna like, like lash out. When we trying to clip their toenails. So, yeah, they just like want to bite your fucking face even off. Even it's not like they're ready to attack, growl. Just, just their, that's just what they do. And yeah, when you have little brothers and kids, I worry. I'm like, if this dog bites them, I love that dog, but I will fuck him up if yep. he does. Like yeah. I will hang his ass. I'll get called by Peta for harming my fucking dog if he harms my my brother. So. <laughs> yeah, that's that's why I can't. I you know I can't take that risk either with my kids. Yeah, you just can't take that risk, dude. <clears throat> like I'm not saying I, they're I all bad, dogs but you know, do some damage to the little kids. Yeah, even and they be pets, and a lot, a lot of times they was definitely Rottweilers that did it. Yep. There's always two types of dogs that was portrayed bad in it, and just out in society. It was Rottweilers and Saint Bernards. Mm. Saint Bernard was most likely because of that Cujo movie, but yeah, right. And that's why they made that Beethoven movie because they wanted people to stop thinking Saint Bernards are just this vicious, overgrown, big ass devil dog. Right, right. <clears throat> It's funny, because when I was a kid, I wanted a uh, St. Saint, uh, Saint Bernard when I saw Beethoven. But then my br older brother ruined it, trying to scare me, and he showed me Cujo. He said, you still want a St. Bernard? No. <laughs> like, I'm older now. I was like, you bastard. You ruined the St. Bernard for me. I wanted one after I saw Beethoven, too. Sonny's running through the middle. Okay. okay. He was trying to open the slider door. Oh, okay, cool. I was just about to go check that. Nice. Yeah, we ended up getting a St. Bernard. Yeah, um, his name was, was Beethoven. Was... Oh, yeah, nice. we named him Beethoven. Classic. Um, me, I didn't want all the fur, um, but I found out they do make them in a shorter coat, so it was a win-win for me. So you just have to groom uh, it to a shorter coat, or is a different no, breed that comes shorter coat? Looks like snared and holding no, pen. It's just like a German Shepherd where they have the short coat and the long coat. So I guess the St. Bernard's, they have it too. Okay. Uh, I think... So how can you get um, one with short coat? You just have to groom it? I just got checked at facility. Coat? Facility? Okay. They, they, yeah. they were just bred that way. Uh, Leland's running toward blue container. Uh, facility doors also opened out the generator. Okay. It was still thick though. Sunny's in garage. But yeah, they're all the way out, Jen, right now. They're all the way out, Jen? Okay. Yep. Connie's working on I Jen mean, Gate right now. After Sunny, where the frick did he go? I got her off. She went down the well. I'm as inside of facility, I believe. I'm going to put a trap on this facility door that leads out. Yep, here she is. I went through the door. I'm headed towards the windmill. Okay. Oh, she might, she might well. Or not. Or not. She's in blue container. Hey, Jay, how you doing oh, tonight? Oh, so is Leland. Leland's over here, too. Okay. Jesus. Okay. Fighting I Leland. I see it. I'll let you through, evil dead guy. You want back to blue container, it looks. Okay. I see him. But yeah, nice he hit. Was, um, really see friendly you, okay. for the most part. But then he started getting kind of weird. Ooh, he probably got no cell on. He didn't get him capped off at? Nope. Damn. Yeah, he was dead. Guy got the overhead, too. Yeah. No, it didn't register. He had zero blood. Oh, wow, shit. that's crazy. Like, wait, you saw that hit, didn't you? Yeah, it's, it's I saw it. I was standing right there, yeah. That. Huh. That's, oh. Is he PC? <laughs> Did he? I'm going back uh, out to PC? check uh, he, oh, is he PC? facility oh, real quick. Yeah. He, he might be. 
Jay the Promaster, how you doing? Um, okay, I don't think they came back out facility yet to generator. <clears throat> Might want to check the uh, slaughterhouse doors. Ty Bear, appreciate that, brother. Smash that like button if you haven't done already. Hope you're having a good night at work, dude. Appreciate you, dude. Let's get blood inside the facility real quick. Where are they? Uh, I'm not sure. My fuse box trap's still good. I'm gonna go check Slaughterhouse after I'm done feeding Grandpa. A lot of them have a ton of points. Julie just went to the well over by the windmill. I wasn't even chasing her. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, red door on slaughter is good. I'm going back. A sliding door just opened up. I'm going back into uh, sliding or slaughterhouse right now. Okay, so sliding door opened up. Okay. Yep. Is Sunny over my battery? Uh, somebody just got in the sliding door. He's getting a pick out of a box. Yep, somebody's out there. Okay, they just Turn went out. Alarms. Yep, they went out battery. Going off all over the place. I'm going through the windmill side. I think they might be out. Yeah, they are. Yep, it's all done. I knew I should have gone out here sooner. Here comes Anna. Okay, I'm going to try to turn this battery off. Becky. Yeah, they must have been out here for a while. Uh, yeah. Uh, I just got checked by Leland on the battery. There he goes. He's going. He's going to be gone. I'll never catch him. Why is he so fast? <laughs> yeah, I, know. I think somebody else. I think Julie might be on her way, too. It makes me stall to faint out. I didn't even swing at him. Okay. Times by windmill, blue container. Yeah. Okay, I'm on my way. Get some blood. Who the hell is Nia Jack? She's some new new wrestler chick that sucks really bad, but they won't get rid of her. I'm thinking that's I'm thinking that's what it's I think I'm thinking that's what it's about, yeah. I think she's you know Oh shit, fuse box is open. Yeah, it's it's like that. She gets that special treatment. You know what I mean? Okay. Knocked her down the well. I figured as much as they were doing with it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> She's in cold room. Yep. Might as well have not even bothered with that. Come what, on. Make you stall again? She's dead. Well, I'm not getting no kills with Leatherface tonight. I ain't playing him again. Hey. It's fuck, dude. It's fucking mega I'm rushers, gonna, yeah. dude. Constant. And I, I'm not even gonna do it. It's like, goddamn, man. 
as soon as I fucking can't even get out of freaking facility before they're already trying to get out the doors. Yeah. <clears throat> I haven't tried it Guys, yet. I will be right back. Yeah. That sounds good, brother. Thing. Nah, not like the fucking eighties and nineties, dude. That's for damn sure. Even the early two thousand. Fucking Edge and Lito was basically having sex <laughs> in the middle of the ring. Pretty much. Like I remember that they had the little bed in the middle of the ring. Yeah, like Lito full was, blown, dude. Yeah, and it's like yeah, they had the covers on it, but they were just you know falling around and underneath it, and it's like. Nowadays, you can't even do anything. I remember the fucking old mud matches they used to have in, w in WWE, mm -hmm. WWF or WWE, whatever it is. Yep. I miss it, man. Mud matches. Yep. And they just... You over here sexualizing? Well, I mean, what else they gonna do? You remember the HLA, dude? The hot lesbian action? Oh, shit. <laughs> 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 Swear to God, that was a thing, man. Eric Bischoff created that. <laughs> uh, Nessa, if you need a code, I got you one. I see it. I see it kicked you. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oil matches, says Raul. Yeah, do you remember that shit? The little blow-up swimming pools and shit? <laughs> oh, the timer's back. What is it? They got a timer says nine minutes on their screen. Uh-huh. Oh, interesting. Oh, it update today, wasn't it? Uh, it's supposed to be dropping on the 28th. The update. I mean, they have the patch notes, but... Raul says Vince hooking up with, uh... What's that say? With all the divas. <laughs> yeah. What okay. was your code? Okay, so it's R3MUW2. Yeah, dude, remember that time uh, Stacy Keebler, she he was <laughs> at the desk in the ring and she got up and started dancing for him and shit on the desk. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he fucking yeah. fell out of his chair, dude. <laughs> if they do that now, they'll definitely get flat for over-sexualized women. Oh, you know it, dude. there would be all them little fucking... Yeah, it was just entertainment. All them little cult groups will be out there saying, oh my gosh, how can you do this? So is she's 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 actually a chick dude like she she used to be a lot smaller than what she is now she's Why just so fucking deep now? she's just shredded dude i don't know i don't know if she takes like testosterone now or what but she's shredded dude but she's okay it's uh r3 m u w2 i almost got that and I wouldn't even, didn't even have my head set on it. And it's one letter. <laughs> oh, one shit. letter. I just from hearing you just say it as I came back. <laughs> good stuff. Good stuff. So like somebody on TikTok or a YouTube short was showing like Rhea Ripley then and now. And it's like her talking then. And like her voice was. And now it's like super fucking deep. I'm like, damn, dude. She reminds you of China, dude. Oh, yeah. God, China. Yeah, she's like the today's China. She literally is. She's built locker, like her, looks like her, uh, talks like her. <laughs> yeah, Raul, I think Vince might have hooked up with a little too many of them divas, dude, considering the situation he's in now. <laughs> well, what situation is he in now? He had to he resigned from WWE. Like, he's no longer a part of WWE, dude. He had to resign because he's got all these lawsuits and shit going on from all these uh, divas that are suing him and shit for, uh, you know, sexual assault yeah, and all that shit. You're fired. You're yeah. fired. <laughs> what a reject. I think it's safe to say he has no chance in hell at coming back to WWE. Uh, Raul says Vince making out with Trish Stratus right next to Linda in a wheelchair. <laughs> you remember that? Dude, you remember that shit? He fucking... Yeah, that, was, that was so great. 
great, dude. He came wheeling fucking Linda down to the ring and shit, dude. Oh my gosh. And I, th- I think this, this Stone Cold like stunner Linda out of the wheelchair or something. <laughs> she had the neck brace on and everything, dude. It was the craziest shit, man. You remember when the Dudley Boys did that little special move? Oh, the Mae Young. That old lady. Mae yes. Young, yeah. Oh my god. I rewatched that last night. He did it off the stage too, up the top by the. Yeah. It's like a ten foot drop, <laughs> and you know she. Dude, she was in her 80s, and she even told the Dudley boys backstage, she said, don't take it easy on me. She said, don't you dare be soft with me, because I'm old. Oh, God. We can't uh, get shit like that no more, dude. I'm a bu- fucking Bubba, <laughs> Bubba like Ray power bombing her. When Chris Benoit uh, passed and uh, killed himself, and then when Eddie Guerrero passed, I was like, uh, it's probably it for me, man. Yeah. Yeah. That's about when I started stopped watching, you know, regularly too. When uh, Chris Benoit and Eddie Guerrero were kind of in the mix there. <clears throat> Sage says Hollywood Rock being back makes me so happy. Yeah, I'll tell you what, man. WWE right now today is the best it's probably been since the Attitude Era. I mean, like literally just today, like in the last few months. And uh, a lot of it's due to the Rock, and it's not even just because of his presence. But he's uh, part of the board now that owns WWE. And they're making it go back to where if you watch the shows, the recent shows, they look like Attitude Era. They're cussing a lot more. They got blood now. Again, like The Rock, there was Cody. They just had a segment last night. Cody Rhodes just had blood all over his whole face and shit. Uh, They got signs in the crowd again. Remember how in Attitude Era, everybody had a sign in the crowd and shit? They got all that stuff. I mean, it's definitely it's definitely not PG. I'll tell you that much. I think they're moving back away from the PG stuff. They have to. Yep. They need to. Yeah. Yep. Because it sucked. It sucked so bad it wasn't even funny. It's horrible. Yeah. I'm telling you guys, if watch watch a few of the segments, just like a few of the clips on YouTube or something. It's it's different, dude. It's different. It's. Didn't they, didn't they change it back to PG because kids was imitating wrestling? Yeah, they were saying that they were hurting each other, and then they were saying about, you know, that's whenever all these movements started coming along, where they were saying that, you know, WWE was, you know, sexualizing the women, and, uh, you know, all this crap, everybody, that, that it's basically whenever everybody started getting offended is whenever they went to PG. I remember getting suspended, no, it wasn't like, sit home suspended, it was like ISS, in-school suspension, yeah. for doing the Triple H, suck it, <laughs> yeah, 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 Dumping it down over your fucking face. <laughs> oh hell yeah! But you know, like even like, you know, back in the day, that you could do like that stuff like that. But that was normal, you know what I mean. And then like, they made you like mask all that behavior, and that's whenever people didn't seem normal anymore. You know what I mean? Whenever they know that like people want to do shit like that, but they just can't. They're not allowed because they're gonna make somebody upset. Um, yeah. but I think we're starting to get to an age like a renaissance age to where people just don't give a fuck anymore about feelings, and they're just gonna do what they want. We're all getting tired of hearing. Yep, exactly. We're tired of hearing you ram it down our fucking throats uh-huh. and, you know, for, try to force us to conform and align to what you want everybody to align with. I am totally Gen X. I come from the we don't give a fuck attitude. Likewise, yep. Yeah. I'm like yeah, the last really, of that. We had a, a parent come up and fuss at the, at the teachers to say, if my son wants to go on a playground with his friends, and say suck it because they watch <laughs> Monday Night Raw together. They should be allowed to. I can understand if he's staying in the middle of the classroom while you're doing a lecture and he just says, you know, whatever. Yeah, like if he stands up in the middle of class or something says suck it, you know what I mean? Yeah, if he had recess and he says his friends suck it and they do yeah. a little song, they, you know. Just, it was cool. People yeah. laughed, dude. Like we, we were kids, we did that. People laughed. Oh my yeah, gosh. Yeah. They're like oh, nobody. Yeah. Our gym teacher laughed at us. All the time until a kid got rock bottom on a fucking gym. Oh, floor. yeah, and dude. It, that, it, it, it was so funny because it was basically one of the dorky kids got rock bottom by one of the jocks. 
Mm -hmm. And he cried and told his mom and, you know. Dude, we used to. Like, dude, we was doing everything. We we used to. Yeah, we used to beat the shit out of each other, dude. Like, (laughs) I remember I I fucking F5 fucking my friend Travis onto this hard fucking ground, dude. Like, and he found it, man. We were elbowing each other in the fucking chest and shit. Like, it was horrible, man. It's so funny because literally the next day we went out on a playground. Instead of doing the gym for the floor, we just went on a playground with the wood chips and did it on the wood chips. Yeah. <laughs> just to put the pedigree for the wood chip. Climb up on a jungle gym and swan time bomb off of it. Like we yeah. had kids doing that type of shit. It was like, fun as fuck, dude. Hurt. Nobody got hurt. No. Yeah, it was just fun. You, I mean, you might, be, you might be feeling a little bit the next day, you know what I mean? Look, <laughs> but like, that was a good time. Dude. You go out there and do it again. Now they don't have playgrounds at school anymore. Most schools don't even have playgrounds. Hell no, because they're afraid they're going to kill each other with them. Uh, well, all the school shootings, yeah. That's exactly. Yeah. I can understand that. Sage says AEW is pretty bad these days. Yeah, dude, I'll tell you what, man. They're fucking losing some momentum here, Sage, aren't they, dude? Like, they're letting WWE get too, pick up too much ground now, man. It's kind of a little worrisome because I was really pulling Did for AEW. Did you get the game? The, the video game? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fight forever yet? I was going to, dude. But there's a lot of shit you got to do in that thing, man. <laughs> no, I was kind of pissed because like they, there was not many match types in it and stuff. Like not nearly like the old Ukes games you get used to get the, uh, for WWE. Whatever they had them back in the day. It's totally different. <clears throat> Raul says, speaking of signs, I remember a sign that said Goldberg eats corn the long way, <laughs> dude. Why do I remember that too? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there were some good ones, man. That's what I'm saying. Like, just quit trying to filter people. Just let them have fun, man. Yeah, they used to have Trish Stratus on Let Me Spank You or, or sp- Come Spank Me, something like that. Yeah, dude. Uh-huh. Like, did the, the opening... The censor group with Ivory when they had, like, they were trying to censor. Oh, right to censor. Right to censor. Yes, yeah, dude. The, the, the fan symbols for that to my Ivory. Why don't you come pet my pecker or something like that? Yeah. I, rem- I can't remember exactly. It was some deal with his pecker. They had fucking, like, uh. Excuse me? <laughs> they had IRS in there, Erwin R. Scheister, man, uh, Bray Wyatt's dad. Yeah, he was, a, he was a part of that, right to censor, I believe. Oh, and fucking Stevie, uh, uh, what was his name? Stephen Richards. Stephen Richards was in that shit. He has a YouTube channel nowadays. I watch him sometimes. You know, I think the funniest things I ever sat and watched on YouTube when it came to wrestling was all the Iron Sheik shit. Oh, my gosh, dude. That guy yeah. was just a... Everything yeah, he, he said just, made you laugh, dude. He was just, it was just hilarious. He's like, Hulk Hogan, <laughs> I fuck you in the ass. Yeah, I dude. make you humble. 99% of his English vocabulary was Hulk Hogan, yeah. dude. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking Hulk Hogan in the ass. Yeah. Oh my god, Did dude. Still show Mick Foley? Like, is, is he part of the board? He's uh he's a legend. Like he's got a legends contract. So like okay. he'll make an appearance every now and then. Um I used to miss Mick Foley. He's probably beat up. He's yeah, he I, I is one, one of the Hulk greatest in ring performers of all time, dude. Yeah. And they were having a discussion about that last night, and you know, Mick Foley. He didn't have any skill, dude. He was a big guy, heavy set guy. He wasn't fast. He wasn't tough. He wasn't strong. Nothing like that. But he did all the fucking risky shit because he knew he had to. That was that was the thing he had going for him. He didn't he he could take a beating. He didn't care how bad he got beat up, dude. He just kept coming back. He was like Rocky, dude. And like when Undertaker, you know, that was, it was actually in Pittsburgh too, uh, Mellon Arena. But when he threw him off the top of the hell in, hell in the cell hell onto the, the yeah, oh, well, that was scary. And I was like, I ain't no way he's alive. Well, it's and you know that was the thing. It's like they had that planned, right? Obviously, it was still gonna hurt and all that bullshit, and it did. They had that planned, but whenever Mick Foley came back to the ring after that, which was insane by itself, that he even came back, and Undertaker choke slammed him on top of the hell in the cell. And he busted through the top and went into the ring. That wasn't supposed to happen. And Undertaker he went. Fall on tacks? Yeah, he fell on the tacks in the middle of the ring. Yeah. Yep. And Undertaker hopped down to the ring and broke his fucking ankle when he when he hopped into the ring. So that match was just a total fucking mess. Wow. And it I, made it work though, dude. And was- Mick Foley's front tooth went up through his mouth into his nose, dude. If you re if you rewatch that video, watch after he goes through the ring, dude. 
you'll see a, a, like white and everybody thought it was snot coming out of his nose. It was his tooth, his front tooth. And that's why he doesn't have a tooth in his mouth today. Um, and he still fucking went it, it, yeah. bleeding and shit. He had tacks all over him. Uh, it was crazy as hell, dude. Uh, Sage says Maven from Tough Enough has he had a nice YouTube channel. I watch him all the time. Sage, I just watched his uh, thing with uh, he was talking to Booker T about him and Stone Cold wrestling in the uh, in the supermarket. And uh, Stone Cold was like dumping milk and fucking flour and shit all over him. It was <laughs> it's funny as shit. Oh yeah, that was great. Yeah, <laughs> he fucking pushed him up to the checkout line and a bug or the fucking I don't know what you guys, what you guys call them? we call them buggies here in Pennsylvania or shopping cart and. Uh, <laughs> Put him through the checkout and shit, dude. It's funny as hell. They don't still do stuff like that, do they? Nah, y'all know, dude. It's so watered down nowadays. You don't see nothing like that anymore. I remember, I think it was Stone Cold was fighting somebody, put him in a limo, and then the limo exploded. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was Vince McMahon, dude. Like, what the fuck happened? He just killed him. Yeah, it was Vince McMahon, dude. He fucking got in a limo and it fucking exploded. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, dude. that was that was in the days without the internet and shit. So you were like, is this real, dude? Did this actually fucking yeah, just is Vince McMahon dead? <laughs> Talking about with your friends and they too was like you had to be there and watch it. So yeah, you couldn't go back and see. Yeah. Sage says Mick Foley was on the same wrestling team as Kevin James in high school. I saw I saw a picture of that too, and goddamn, it's Kevin James short, Sage. <laughs> At least the picture yeah. I saw. <laughs> oh my gosh, Kevin James he is awesome though. Man. He's funny as shit. He was mankind. Kevin yeah. Is Dude love, yep. Dude love. Dude love. Yep. I thought that was one of his weakest characters. You remember? He needs to go back to Mr. Psycho, they had one of them Royal Rumbles, dude, where he, all, each one of his characters came out to the <laughs> Royal <laughs> Rumble. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so funny. Whoops, shit, I didn't mean to do that. It's all good. Even the theatricals, like when whenever Undertaker would disappear underneath the ring and in the crowd. Oh, and then it was like, greatest it was character so of all time, dude. Like, that guy's presence. Like, Undertaker didn't have to win championships or anything, dude. He he was the attraction. He was more of the attraction than getting the title belt. You know what I mean? I didn't like how they made him lose that one WrestleMania. Yeah, to Brock Lesnar, that was some bullshit. Yeah, he should have he should have he should have stayed undefeated. Yep. Yeah. Many years hey. of service as he did, yeah. you gotta let a legend have that. Especially oh, to Brock Lesnar, how yeah. fucking weak. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, dude. Like they he they wanted to put him over so, so bad. bad, dude. They yeah. tried pushing him as this big, tough big guy, big, and yeah. he, oh, I, he was not likable in any way, shape. No, and he needed he needed Paul Heyman to talk for him on the mic too. You know, he was so bad at promos. Uh, Raul says I lost my fucking mind watching that shit. Legendary. Are you talking about the Undertaker and uh, Mankind, Raul? He lost his ear getting twisted in the ropes or something. I think. Yeah, you're right. McFoley did. Yeah, he lost half of his ear, dude. He got caught up. He got hung up in a ropes and lost his ear. Yep, got ripped off. <clears throat> Bitch, I knew that was gonna be there. Yeah. Talk about it makes me want to like. I wish they would have had something where you can get DVDs or something to watch all of those. Mm-hmm. Rock and sock connection. Now you're talking, Raul. Hell yeah, I remember that. That was short. That was a short stable too. His original story with Kane is the best story they ever done. I think. I think. So. I, I, yeah, Undertaker and Kane's definitely one of the best of all time. There's no doubt about that shit fucking burn his little brother alive <laughs> yeah 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 they was never really related right they, they just no made that story up. see i believe that shit even till they just now i was like wait were they really brothers i, I brothers did too shit? yeah because they, they were similar size and you know shit yeah. and they looked a lot alike yeah you had the big red machine you had the undertaker it's like the two scariest motherfuckers in wrestling it's like bro they had to be brothers there's no doubt about it Uh, he lost that fear when they took off his mask. I hate it when they took off his mask. You got your chat link, so well, nice, dude. Good shit, man. Did you try it out yet, dude? Yeah, yeah. When Kane, well, that was you know that was Kane's idea. Like he was just tired of being masked. I mean, I can imagine sweating underneath that 
damn mask on all night, every night. Wrestling or mm -hmm. every week, whatever. Or whatever Monday Night Raw or SmackDown, Five Night SmackDown. It made it seem like he was just this grotesque dude in the mask. I'm like, dude, there's no way I'm going to see him with his mask off. I don't want to see it. And then they took it off like, oh, come on. Really? Leave the fucking... He reset the trap moves. Oh, uh, not moves. Uh, okay, come the fuck on. You got caught by that twice. <laughs> yeah, Kane was fucking massive, Sage. There's no doubt about it. He, you know, actually, he was, he was a lot bigger than The Undertaker, to be honest. <clears throat> taller Didn't and the big show. Didn't the big show come from WCW, right? Yeah, he was the giant in WCW, yep. Yeah. I'm gonna have to get on mic with you again, Zimwella, and uh That was kinda of exciting to see uh Big Show and Jingle all the way while Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> that's the big ass. Oh, show. yeah, that was good shit. I was like, wait, that's the Big Show. And I was like, that's not the Big Show. I was like, yeah, it is, man. <laughs> size with hands like that. I'm going to deck your home, bub. Like, that's the Big Show. Like, that's got to be absolutely the Big Show. <laughs> yeah. Fucking no matter big where show. I go. No I think they got exterior alarm, that's why. Yeah, he did. Undertaker did get bigger too. Yeah, Sage. He was he was kind of like whenever he was coming up in the early '90s and stuff, and he made his debut. He was he wasn't really, uh, he wasn't really muscular. He was just tall and lanky. But then he he yeah, he put on he definitely put on some muscle. There's no doubt about that. Yeah, him and Triple H. Oh, de Triple fuck, H. definitely Triple H. I think that's what fucked Triple H's heart up, dude. Yeah. All them steroids. Him with his fucking sledgehammer. Yeah. <laughs> that little ass sledgehammer, like a real sledgehammer, is a lot bigger than that. And it's like, we know it's a prop to use for his little <laughs> thing. Cause, but he did bust my head on. I forgot who he busted his head open on. It. Shit, she might win this. I feel like it should be healing you as you're fighting. Like, it should have been healing you after you already used it, but you didn't even use it because she started fighting you. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I know. That's what I was thinking, too, yeah. Okay. I'm just going to keep trying to do this pressure tank to just kind of keep him busy. Okay. She's going to be dead here. Yeah. Fuck it. Hey, I'm, I'm tired of the hitchhikers. I really am. Yeah, they're annoying as fuck, dude. They just don't stop. I, I, I can't I can't fucking stand them. <laughs> he's a saggy pay fucker. <laughs> he is. But he's fucking saggy. If I pull your fucking pants up, put on something that fits. I know you're all skinny and shit. Cracked out. And fucking crack pipe hanging off your lip. And <laughs> whatever, whatever else you might have going on there. Your little butter knife. The hitchhiker looks like the kind of guy who can go into Walmart and get a job right away. <laughs> <laughs> Give this man a job. He definitely does have that look. Okay, I've got a fuse. Holy shit. I <laughs> see Connie. <laughs> he said, not you too. Aww. He's sad about Connie. Uh, yeah, he still does, actually, yeah. You know, Moose, one of these nights, I'm kind of get my camera situated and get something a little bit better looking. I got to do me some 
streams that we're just chatting. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm saying, dude. <laughs> We've been doing a lot of chatting tonight, haven't we? It, and I love it. I <laughs> oh, I do, too. Yeah, I, dude, I can just keep going on, like, especially with wrestling yeah. and shit. Oh, my God. I can talk all... I talk your fucking ear off, dude, all night long. Um. Okay. I'm going to try to go up and stab Grandpa, I think. I should have grabbed another bone scrap. So he says, I hate these hitchhikers trapping Grandpa and getting them to level five. Yeah, and it's been very... A lot more common... Now, ain't it, Sage? Oh my gosh, she was this dumbass. Yeah, for the longest time, I don't think anybody even thought to doing that to Grandpa, but then it, it caught on. Didn't we talk about that before it was a thing? Yeah, yeah, people, yeah, there's been a few select people that's been doing it, you know what I mean? Yeah, sadly enough, I never watched W. WF until after WCW got bought out. I watched a little bit before that. Like, I watched, uh, I probably started watching like 97, 96, 97. I started watching in 1989. Mm hmm. Yeah. In fact, it was, it was Saturday night, it was Saturday night, um, main event was, was the first one, and it was the one where, uh, yeah, it was the whole setup with Hulk Hogan and Brutus Beefcake and Macho Man and Zeus and stuff. Yep, and then we, Ended up getting the pay-per-view for SummerSlam, and it was mm -hmm. all downhill from there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> By 1990, you know, we were watching the Royal Rumble and wrestling. It was probably, that would have been, let's see, 1990, that would have been WrestleMania. It didn't heal you, Moose. Yeah, it, it was poison. It was. It, it wasn't a health. It was a. Oh yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, the health didn't either. Yeah, it was poison and the bone scrap pal. I think was poison. Had to be WrestleMania. <clears throat> Okay. Oh, it couldn't have been six. Maybe five. Yeah. I remember Ray Mysterio before he had the mask. So, like, I was so I was like, wait, is that the Ray Mysterio that used to be in WCW? And then before he started hiding his face and mask and stuff. Like, okay. Yes, it is. Yeah, I'm definitely losing that one. I knew it. Health was too low. Sage says, who does Evil Dead Guy think the greatest of all time is? Wrestler. Oh, God. <coughs> Raul says, did you guys watch, <coughs> excuse me, the Montreal Screwjob when it happened? I was so mad. Yes, I did. I did watch it, uh, Raul, and it was really, really fucked up how they did Bret Hart, man. There's no doubt about that. There are so many of them wrestlers that I love so much, and there are so many that you could say that to. I have my personal favorites. Mm -hmm. And then... As far as the greatest wrestler, it just depends on what you... Depends on how detailed of a question you want that to be. Yeah. As far as someone who could hold themselves, put on a show, popularity... I mean, even if you chose that category, there's so many. There's so many. Yeah, it's, it's just... It comes down to a matter of, you know, in-ring performance, mic performance, character... Um, Everybody had their personal favorites. Yeah. You know? Everybody yeah. had their personal favorite baby faces and heels. So, yeah, to, to put it simply, there is no greatest of all time. You know what I mean? It's all opinionated. Um, yeah. You know, and every everything you can put on the table, if you put Hulk Hogan there, he's debatable. If you put Stone Cold there, he's debatable. Ric Flair, yeah. debatable. Taker, Rock, it, does, it doesn't yeah. matter. Ultimate Warrior... I mean, you could go down the line. Jake yeah. the Snake. Uh, a lot of people think Jake the, Jake the Snake's the greatest heel of all time. Um, you know, it's just it just all kind of depends. Um, and then there's... There's, like, matches that were... Like, when it comes from, uh, you know, to a wrestler uh, turning from good guy to bad guy, there's been so much mm -hmm. of that, you know, like the whole thing with... Hulk Hogan and Andre the Giant, and Andre the Giant was right there by his side, until one day he wasn't. And it's just, all that old wrestling stuff is just so wonderful, it was so well done. Yeah. So here's my thing, is, you know, in my opinion, Hulk Hogan put WWF, WWFE on the map. Yes. He helped... WWF go international and become the phenomenon it is today. I don't think it would have blown up nearly as big without 
Hulk Hogan. Which is why, in my opinion, I think he could be one of the greatest of all time. Yes. Stone Cold saved WWE. I think he's one of the greatest of all time. That's um, because, yeah, Hulk Hogan was kind of, you know, they were phasing out, things were changing. Yeah. Stone Cold comes in, and he's the opposite of Hulk Hogan. He's, yeah. He's a fan favorite, but he's not the wholesome family guy. The Hulk Hogan. And you know what's crazy is Austin was supposed to be a heel, like, but the fans loved, <laughs> they loved they what loved he did. <laughs> yeah. Like they were like, you know, they envisioned of them being like that with their own bosses because they hated their jobs and they fucking wanted out and they yeah. were tired of their bosses bossing them around and shit. And they loved it. So he had to be a face because of that. That's, that's why his character worked yep. so well. You know, his, his first name was Hell yeah, John. Steve Austin. Yeah. <laughs> Stunning Steve. Yeah. yeah, old Stunning. That's what he, that's what he had hair. He had hair. <laughs> and not much of it, but he still had a little bit, like Hulk Hogan. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they came up uh, tool storage, by the way. Sonny's my bone room. Okay. You know, oh, the, two character, the two characters are so different from each other because they represent the difference between the two different uh, uh, eras and decades that they were taking place in. You know, 100%. Hulk Hogan, was, Hulk Hogan was the say your prayers and eat your vitamins. Yeah. He... Good person. Love your neighbor. Have best friends. You know, but fight for yourself at the same time. While Stone Cold Steve Austin was, fuck you, fuck this. You know, I, I'm tired of everything. You know, I, I hate everybody and everything. I'm yeah, you're not going to tell me what to do. Yeah. I make my own rules. <laughs> I mean, it's they were complete opposites, but that's what WWE needed of both of that. Yeah, they needed both both sides. They needed Stone Cold. Well, I'm, I'm <clears throat> Julie. You want to you make love? Oh, and then Sonny comes in? Okay. All right. Very well. Uh, it like he ambushed me. I... I think there's somebody in tool storage again. Sonny and uh, Julie are trying to head towards the uh, facility. Um, no, I can't. I, I can't think the windmill. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna feed Grandpa real quick to get exterior, and then I'll come over yeah. and help. Yeah, I don't think he's gonna make it. They're they're not doing anything but trolling. They're just punching my dick. John, yeah, Barbara Crampton cakes hype. Oh, I'm, I'm pumped, dude. That's the first thing I'm gonna be checking out there, John. The cakes. <laughs> See if they live up to the hype, man. Okay, are they? Is there anybody still over here at the blue container? Uh, no. Sunny kind of left. I don't see Julie anymore. Okay, I'm gonna check this. like crazy. Sunny is in the middle. Okay. Yeah. Now he's by holding pen. He's going through the crack. Holding okay. pen towards the garage. Okay. I see him. Good mark. He's coming back to... Oh, no, wait. Oh, that... Wow, that misses, dude. Why would he swing that way? Yeah. He's getting bone scraps in garage right now. God, Julie. What are you trying to do, girl? Sage says Got Vince money. Vince said Austin made him m way more money than Hulk Hogan, but Cena could have topped them both with the amount of merch he sold. That's what I was talking to Evil Dead Guy about. Uh, Vince McMahon said John Cena's the greatest uh, employee he's ever had, uh, which is rather surprising to me. Vince calls him the greatest of all time. <laughs> that That's very surprising to me. But That's because... He has bad blood with Hulk Hogan and, and Austin. Hulk. Yeah, <laughs> yep. yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. You're exactly right, dude. H Hogan and Austin both genuinely did not like Vince McMahon in real life. No. It's because he's a douchebag. Yep. That was uh, a lot of their heat from both of those characters on Vince was actually real fucking heat, dude. Oh, they got uh, fuse really box. Yep, they just hit fuse box. I'm running down right now. There's Anna. Oh, she's hitting the well. Okay. I'm trying to make it to the door. It's a block. 
Oh, I just got stabbed by Julie. She's leaving right now. Um, uh, see if I can get to the door before Anna makes it. Here comes Anna. Shit. I'm coming around, I'm coming around. <laughs> yep, she's stuck in front of me, I think. I can't see. <laughs> what? She made it past? Ah! She squeezed it. Yeah, good play by her. I think with me hitting there, it kind of helps. Yeah. Uh, well, no, nah, it's fine. It's just, yeah. It's sometimes they sometimes they can get it squeeze in there. Some if you if you kind of crouch and kind of tea bag, you can almost kind of push them a little bit too. Sometimes. Uh, Raul says my favorite top three: Ultimate Warrior, The Rock, Stone Cold. Stop watching after Attitude Era when I got into real fighting. Oh, nice, dude. Okay. Yeah, I know. I know The Rock's on a lot of people's list too, man. I just I I can't like, you know, even though The Rock obviously had a massive you know hogan and austin like presence um i just think with him leaving for hollywood and shit leaving his fans behind when he was like at the peak of his career and then showing up like a few years later you know what i mean like nothing ever happened that's what kind of turned me off yeah. with him uh because it's like he abandoned his fans you know what i mean which i get it like obviously you know hollywood was calling and that's the greatest decision he could have ever made but still I mean, we're talking wrestling terms. I don't know, man. It's like he didn't he didn't put as much effort and time in as all the other guys did. Hundred <clears throat> percent had, but definitely if if someone was to put the Rock on their Mount Rushmore, Raul, like you do, I I see no issues with that at all. I mean, he's definitely definitely one of the greats. There's no doubt. Uh, hundred percent had both of these shirts. And uh, smell what the rock is cooking. I think the Austin 316 shirt and the NWO shirt are the most sold wrestling shirts ever. No, 100%, dude. 100%. Dude, Austin retired in 2003, I think it was. And I still always see people wearing Austin 316 shirts. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you know, I mean, I still have one. Like, I, I wear that shit all the time. Like, it's, you know, it, 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 it's just one of those things that's never really going to lose its luster. <clears throat> Sage says I had the random bootleg ones from the Sunday market. Yeah. Oh hell yeah, dude. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Ain't nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Didn't Bret Hart punch Vince after the screw job? Yes, backstage he did, Raul. Yeah. He gave him a shiner too. And believe it or not, it was the Undertaker who had to step in to stop it all. The reason being is because Vince knew that WCW wanted Bret Hart and he was going to be signing a contract with them. And Vince didn't want Bret Hart to take the title to WCW with him. So he intentionally, you know, made him lose that match against Shawn Michaels. And that's when he spit on Vince and all that shit. And that's kind of when you really knew that Vince was like the owner calling the shots and all that shit. Yeah, Vince McMahon doesn't make uh, friends very well. Nah. Nope, not at all. I'll tell you one thing about Vince, though. He was fucking great on commentary, dude. Like, I loved his fucking commentary. It's insane how good he was. I kind of wish he would have never stopped it. Like, I know he needed that storyline of Stone Cold, but, like, I wish he could have done it a little bit more. That's gotta be Kane. Um, uh, the what chant still strong? Oh my gosh, dude! The <laughs> the the what thing will never go away. It's almost like the you suck chance when uh, Kurt Angle comes out. <laughs> yeah, guys, I'm telling you, man, we get enough of you guys on board, man. I'm, I'm about to make a sub side channel for wrestling content one of yeah, these days, uh, dude. <laughs> oh shit. Especially if we're talking about, you know, 80s and Attitude Era wrestling and shit. Yeah. Okay. Who we got? No Danny. Oh, Connie, you're so cute. <laughs> I love you, sweetie. Is she going in a, she going to thing? Yeah, she did. Oh wait, why am I, I not was seeing chasing her around? She went into that, you know, that um, 
the small shed basement door. Yeah. So she went in there to hide, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, she uh, she didn't realize I had already cut that thing down. <laughs> that small space. So yeah. Oh um, shit. She had nowhere to go. And then she still kind of looped me around, but then she ran out of stamina. And I felt kind of bad because I know she was desperate. <laughs> well, we got to eat tonight with that guy, man. It's very important. Good time, says John. Yeah, it was, dude. <clears throat> Sage says, Undertaker owned the crowd once he was like, say what if you like to sleep with your own sister? <laughs> Yeah. Someone, opened, someone opened battery container. Okay. I'm going back right now. It's Anna. Anna, huh? That little bitch. Oh, she popped up. Just has to take the battery. Oh, someone's turning the battery off. Julie's turn. Oh, fuck. Okay. Well, there goes that. I'm trying to get oh. back there. I gotta get over yeah, to me Julie. Too, me too. Yes. Door. I can't tell if she got it or not, though. <laughs> no. <I'm laughs> okay, good not. shit. Holy hell. That took her fucking forever, didn't it? Here comes Sunny. They're all three back here, by the way. Okay, Anna's in the well. Come on, how is she not dead? Sunny's coming toward well. Julie's welled. Sunny's still back here. I'm chasing him around the middle shack. You got a couple hits on him. He's going through a crack. He's going to come out toward well. I yep. got a hit. I got another hit. Oh, another he's hit. dead. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Your poison claws <laughs> fucked him <laughs> up. He could not run straight, dude. He was going sideways and shit. <laughs> he's pissed. He's pissed. He is fucking shit. <laughs> He's like, come on, man. I came in here after them girls are already back here causing all this bullshit. I didn't do anything. And you guys he kill me? Yeah, he, right. <laughs> they were sure they were going to get out. Oh, yeah. He, he walked in on it, poor guy. I don't know how we got Julie got off in time. Like, she was on that battery forever. Uh, yeah, because when I started run to to her, Anna was running to me to try to stop me from her. Mm -hmm. And Julie got scared, so she backed off batteries. So she had to restart it. <laughs> oh, okay, gotcha. That's where she fucked up, yeah. Man, I got there just in the nick of time. I, geez. Good shit, good shit, good play. Right, I'm feeding again. Uh, I might need to check generator side doors. Okay. Or gates, I mean. I'll head over there. I was over <clears> by <throat> pressure gate. Okay. Yep, I saw her. Julie's over here too by the battery again. Oh, they're gonna try to push that battery I'm again. Coming. Come on, my stall, my saw keeps stalling. Your uh, even, your uh, ability tree is not reset. Is he even a guy? It may you might want to check know. that. It might be. It's uh, something stupid is going on. The, the the one gate is still locked. So I'm on Julie and Anna. They're back here by uh, middle shed. I'm still on Julie. She's running toward generator side. Anna's trying everything in her power to protect this Julie, by the way. But yeah, she's staying right with her. Like, right behind her. So she can take the hits for her. They both went in crack of the house. Fighting Anna. Julie's back here, too. Oh, let's fucking get... Oh, dude, evil dead guy... Oh, yeah. shit. We both just killed them both. We just killed them. Oh, my God. Fucking saving that fucking shit right now. Dude. Guys, evil... I, you just got a double kill, dude. We just got a double kill. You did. You did. I, I did. Yeah. Okay, so I was in the fight, right? Yeah. With Anna, And she was going to win that fight. But you okay. hit... You hit her and Julie at the same time. And it made Anna bleed out in that fight against me, even though I was in my killing animation with her. Uh, oh my god! You're you are definitely responsible for both of those kills, 100. percent Yeah, look, you got a 3K. Look, look see, you got a 3K. I killed that Sunny. Holy shit! 
Yeah, dude, you just got a, you got that infamous fucking Leatherface double kill. I've never done that. I've never even done that. That's insane. Oh my god. Yeah, you get you definitely you got to save that clip, dude. I'm telling you, man. Yeah, that's I'm like gonna even go. I'm gonna go back even a little further because I want to make sure I've got the whole thing. Did you guys oh. did you guys see that? He definitely got that double kill. Even though it showed me killing like in the fight killing animation, I only got it only says I got one kill and it was that Sonny back at battery. I was gonna say because you were there killing her. I saw you killing. Yes, her. you got but the yeah. double overhead, dude. That's that's a very rare, nearly impossible uh, kill. That's good shit. Oh my god! I gotta post that one online. Sure. Mm-hmm. That was fucking epic. Fuck! Oh, that's awesome. <sighs> I had no idea that was a thing or could happen. <laughs> dude, I'm this makes me so excited. It's fucking amazing. It's awesome. What are you laughing about, Bezo? <laughs> oh, shit. They did, they did another shadow nerf to Bubba, says John. <laughs> no, I hope not, dude. He went, fucking Evil Dead guy wasn't nerfed right there, man. I'll tell you that much. The EDG perk, says Raul. Yep, double kill. Yep. Yeah, he definitely, that was definitely double kill. It's weird how it put me in that killing animation on Ana because when you, when you came and hit Julie and went into kill animation on her. Yeah. The Ana just fell over at the same time. Oh, it, it does kind of look that way, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, you, yep. Here, gonna, you hit them both with that overhead. I forgot. I can actually look at it um, while we're waiting for you. Nice. I thought I saved the 30 second one. Okay. Epic shit, dude. Congratulations, man. Thank you. I had no idea. It was <laughs> you didn't even know you were. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know I was even doing it. Here we go. I got it. I got it up. I come around to the house here. Mm -hmm. I come into this room. I know that something's going on. That's the second time I've seen it too, John. I saw Butcher Show, uh, a really good oh, Texas Chainsaw nice. streamer. He got one too. On this map. You were, you were stuck in the uh, stabbing animation. Mm hmm. Yeah, I was fighting her. She came to fight me. Yeah. And you hit them both. Yep, killed them both. Fucking amazing. Yeah, so that's fucking incredible, I, dude. So glad I played Leatherface. You just, you'd like, you fuck it, you bugged the game out, dude, because, like, it, it made it seem like Hitchhiker was killing her, but he wasn't. Yeah. <laughs> it was you. <laughs> I had no idea that was a thing. Crazy shit. Yeah, so. Well. Second time for me too. It was this map too. Butcher Show did it on in the basement. Uh, I think it was like a Connie going through the gap, and somebody else was behind her, and he hit, he got them both, dropped one, and uh, went in the animation on the other one. I was just so happy at the moment that I got in that Julie that I was chasing that. <clears throat> and not to I mention that game. ended ended the fucking game too, dude. <laughs> ended the game. Crazy. All right. Uh, no, Danny, which is always a good thing. Okay, I think uh, the fuse box is in Johnny's shack. Maybe I did I even check on battery side? I don't know. Oh, it must be. All right, I've got in hot pursuit of a Leland. Oh, love to hear that. With a uh, trolling uh, Sonny. Sonny was trying to protect him. It's like, don't protect Leland. <laughs> Sonny protecting oh, Leland. Oh, man cave. Oh, oh. bye-bye. Yep, I was going to say, sir. Leland's uh, kind of fucked. Good shit. And this guy's fucking like evil dead guy on a roll over here. Uh, John says a streamer named it Wheezy. He killed Anna and Danny at the same time. Nice, dude. Yeah, I'm telling you, man, you're in some elite fucking company there. Sunny is down. Oh, you're talking about uh, Wheezy F. Mamba? Uh, I'm assuming that's probably what he means. Yeah. Oh, he got a double kill, too? Nice. Good shit. Good shit. All right. Um, I got 75. I'm going to feed Grandpa. <clears throat> Got 
Got the kill animation on Ana and Danny drop dead. Nice. Yeah, that's just what happened with uh He got the animation on Jolie and Ana dropped, yeah. That's fucking good shit. That's wild. It's 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 like a it's a luck thing. You have to hope that they're both right beside each other. Actually, Evil Dead yeah. guy, you and I were the victims of a double kill Leatherface too before. You remember That's that? Right, we we were, weren't we? Yeah, uh, you were trying to get the back porch door. I was a Leland trying to protect you or something, and he came and overheaded both of us. One of us do dropped, and then the other one got the got the animation. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's not, I had to break your trap, hun. All right, I'm uh, going to try to set a trap here on the bridge. Who, I was going to say, what's that laughing? Who's laughing? <laughs> yeah, it's so fucking yeah, fun. Yeah, I was seeing that video. It's like old, probably like an old video of that girl going up on a swing. The kid passes by and barely misses it. Then he walks right back into it. He gets fucking flipped over. Oh, right yeah. Back. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, that's no, funny shit. Uh. Oh, shit. I just showed up. I was like, oh, yeah. Good shit. Fuck yeah! Okay. Right, honey. There we got oh Connie cakes evil dead guy. You gotta t you gotta take one for the team, man. Connie's Where left. Where are you, Connie? Don't don't let your feelings get the best of you, man. I know. We need we need some cake tonight, dude. You know I want some dessert right. tonight, evil dead guy. Uh, there we go. Get this dessert. <laughs> it looks like she's in the garage. Yeah, I know Weezy. He's a cool dude. I like him. I used to play Evil Dead with him. It's over by that uh, ladder. The ladder you she's, can climb up? Okay. She's in one of these rooms. Or she was. I see her. I see her. She's running out the big garage door. Main garage door. Okay. Now that... Oh, um, <laughs> Look, <laughs> he cut my head off too. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, cut your nose off, bitch. <laughs> oh shit! Another three K. Let's go, man. The three K master over here, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, <laughs> you really three, are, dude. Three <laughs> K master. I know. Oh shit! Oh my. Well, guys, that was all fun and games. So I'm probably gonna do one more. I'll leave it up to you guys. Nessa, even that guy, what, what do you want to play? Family or victim? Let's, Nessa, you choose, hon. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, you choose, hon. Any, no, I'm not choosing. Please. Anything you want. I am all down for it. does not matter to me. I just got me two awesome Leatherface matches. It's all good. You play. Yeah, you did, dude. Both of them games were fucking great shit. They were. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Okay. Quick match, it is. Okay. All right, Nessa, you won't choose? Okay. All right, we'll let the game decide then. If you change, if you change your mind, just let me know. <laughs> Dude, you got to put that... Uh, even okay, you put you gotta put that on Twitter and tag Texas Chainsaw yes, Massacre. I am definitely, definitely gonna put that on Twitter. I'm telling you, you'll get the fucking you'll get the views, dude, on that shit. That is a very rare occurrence. Yep, I got that saved in a variety of different ways. <laughs> Hell yeah. Make some content with those matches. Let's see what happens in this one. Mm -hmm. Watch me strike out in this one. Yeah, it happens. Happens to the best of us, man. You know, you get get a bunch of... He might 4K this one, dude. Dude, you know, now that I think about it, that... I wish I could 4K this one. That match that we did with that double skill, I swear they were computer players. Yeah. Because I remember yeah. seeing that and thinking, oh god, they're gonna give me one hell of a well, you know, that match could have went all different kinds of ways, man. That's a, you know, got, luckily we got him off the battery back there because three of them could have been out easily right there. 100%. And we turned that into a 4K. I like, guess pretty, pretty impressive. Yes. Eight hour stream, John? <laughs> Not tonight, brother. Not tonight, man. <laughs> I had to get to like five o'clock in the morning, dude. 
I'm okay on that, man. Maybe, maybe uh, DLC day. Maybe. No promises, but I'm definitely going to try to stream longer than I usually do. Are you? You got to work that day? Uh, unfortunately. Yes, un me too, unfortunately. So, it's a shot in the dark, but we'll see. We'll see. We're definitely gonna tr we're gonna do more of those, John. Though soon, like I'm not that wasn't like a one and done thing for me. Maybe like once a month or something. Yeah, if I had it my way, I'd come home and load up. We'll see how it goes. Yep. I think uh, for my kids, Easter vacation starts that day also. Yeah, ours are already on. Oh, are they on already? Nice, dude. Yeah. Yeah, I don't understand why, because the day after Easter, they go back to school. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of weird, isn't it? I think mine go back, like, two days after. Two or three, I think, like, Wednesday of the next week or something. Yeah, ours are going to go back on Tuesday. Oh, okay. Oh, there, it is Tuesday? God damn it. You tell me that they're here again on Monday? <laughs> That's what I'm saying, dude. I'm like, oh, God. That shit pissed me off. <laughs> You're welcome. I'm I am tired of being here. <laughs> yeah, I know. So I said, man, like, uh, my kids' school, they give them all these random days off and shit all the time. And I'm like, man, oh, like, God. isn't that what summer vacation's for, dude? <laughs> I know. Okay. I don't think anybody's up yet. Nope, they're chasing Danny around circles down here. <laughs> you could you could just go ahead and finish him off real quick if you want evil dead guy, you know what I mean? I will do so. Hey man, the Connie. If I catch him, you know if the controls on this thing work. <laughs> Oh, what the hell? Why cut... you let me barge it? It, it cut your sh share screen off again. I don't know why uh, it's doing that. Might be... Is that you guys up... That might be you guys upstairs. No, I'm... In the kitchen. There's Leland. Hi, buddy. I see Connie's in the lair. Man, there's a lot of delay on my movements, though. Yeah, I've noticed tonight. Spiking. Yeah. Yeah, we might be playing against people with high ping, like someone out of country or something. Yeah. I notice a lot of times when I play early in the morning, dude, I'll get a lot of, like, uh, overseas players, like Japanese, Asian players and shit. Oh, uh, yeah. And the... It's nighttime and... Yep. You know, early at night time for them, yep. The latency is so bad. Yeah, rear staircase, chasing her down. Okay. Rear staircase, chasing her down. Okay. Where'd she go? I done lost her. <laughs> it's okay, I'm upstairs now. I'm feeding Grandpa for level one. Fuse box is in Hitchhiker's room. I'm going up to check it right now. Back porch door is still trapped. Man, I'm running around this house like a maniac. Uh, den door just opened up. It was Leland. That was weird. Hey, Connie's coming up. Uh, yeah, I got her in my trap. Okay, I see it. Come on, how is she alive? She went back through, hon. Get her. I'm going to see if you win this fight. Probably not. Nope.
I just wanted to be sure because I figured maybe she was low, low, like low health, so maybe she would die in that fight. Oh, he's on that side of the wall. I misjudged it. It's Donnie. <laughs> Fuck down that well. Jesus, <laughs> you're fine. I just see him when that guy's just fucking swinging at everything. <laughs> at everything right Leland now. just ran by. Yep. You might go window, huh? Hey, oh, no, stab. Where the fuck? Oh, the son of a bitch. Come on, Leatherface, get to the door. Damn, I should have had that redone. He went Sorry, downstairs, but he still got Nessa's trap on his leg, so he's gonna have to fuck around with that. Oh, <laughs> yeah, God. I know. That was that was horrible timing, dude. Because he just like no, he kind of like knocked you out of the way. Get down there and oh, I beat him in a fight. Good. Don't gotta worry about him then. He had that fucking Nancy trap on, dude. He was so fucked. I, I thought he'd already gotten down there, otherwise I would have got him. Yeah, you guys kind of you guys kind of collided right there, dude. Like with your hips, <laughs> was pushing each other. That was scary for both of us. I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. Danny's out here in garden. Okay. He's running back into the house. On my what? I see him. He's going upstairs. Upstairs. I got all that. I got the door locked up there. He might go crawl space. Yep, he is. I'm going under. Fuck. He's in middle middle room. God, he picked up that fucking health quick. I got rid of that crawl space. He can't get through it. The door's locked on the other side. No way, dude. He's coming back in the cook's room. He has no way to get out. He, 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 uh... Oh, he's, he got the crawl space. I'm latching it. Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> Good shit on the crawl space, evil nigga. Mm -hmm. Where's that pesky fucking Anna at? Anna, who I don't Anna's think up here. She's upstairs too. Living room. Okay. Living room. Okay. She's gonna go side guard it. Oh, oh she's gonna hopefully go through the crack. Maybe not. Didn't get no got two right hits either. on her. Go go window. Window. Trap. It's a big swing, baby. Big swing. Oh, come on, with that guy. He fucking whipped it. <laughs> no. Yeah, yeah. yeah, he fuck. Yeah, good shit. Get the gallows, though. Oh, no. He was <laughs> good shit. Good shit. Hitchhiker's just like, I'm just gonna duck here and catch all the blood on my face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, it's tasty. You know, he's kind of sick of eating all this scrap, dude. That's right. He probably is. <laughs> well, those were three very awesome matches. Yeah, very good stuff, man. Lots of fun. Um, I think oh, I'm gonna yeah. end on a good note myself, anyway. Me too. Me yeah. too. It's been a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Bezo, I appreciate you coming and hanging out, man. I, yeah. You know, I, I kind of feel bad she didn't play any games with us, but <laughs> the offer was there, man. The offer was there. <laughs> That's cool, man. That's good. That's good. Always enjoy yeah, having some conversation with you anyway, man. Um, what are you doing tomorrow, Bezo? Are you going to be working tomorrow? Yeah, I'm going to work, but I'm going to leave. I don't feel like being there. I want to do some uh, Evil Dead tomorrow. <laughs> Cool, cool. All right. Well, hopefully, maybe maybe tomorrow I'll see if I can find the disc lying around, dude. And if I do, maybe I can jump in with you a little bit. Oh, yeah. You got to find that, buddy. Yeah, yeah, we'll get it. Either way, we'll get the game back. Whether I, Maybe I can just go buy a pre-owned one from GameStop, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> just return it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I could probably get a pre-owned one for like 10 bucks up here, so I'll see you. But, uh, yeah, well, I appreciate you guys, the man, hanging out, dude. It's been a lot of fun. Um, Thanks for coming by, buddy. Yeah, for sure, man. I'll be playing something tomorrow, so I'm sure I'll see you guys, right. at least some of you guys then. So, <laughs> have a good night. Sounds good. Have a good night. Yep. yep. Ladies and gentlemen, 
It's been another awesome stream tonight, man. Lots and lots of fun. Lots of laughs. A lot of good time. A lot of freaking wrestling talk, man. We got to talk about, you know, maybe in the future, maybe in the future, man, some kind of sub-channel, maybe some, you know, wrestling talk from all facets, you know, WWE, AEW. I don't know. It's just, it's just a thought right now. But, you know, it's been something that I've uh, had in the back of my head for a long time. So we might uh, we might consider that, man. I think it might be a lot of fun. Um, but, yeah, we'll talk about that. But, yeah, we're going to hop off tonight, guys, man. We got tomorrow, and then the next day we got the DLC coming. So I hope everybody enjoyed the stream tonight, man. If you guys did, feel free to drop a like and subscribe to the channel. If you haven't already, man, my name's Sergeant Moose. Thanks so much for tuning in, guys. We'll see you on the next one, man. Have a good night. Take care. Thank you.